Chapter 2681 Full Firepower The Nine Dragons in Long Aeocean's manifestation suddenly opened their eyes. An aura that didn't belong to this world rapidly rose. What is that? Startled cries rang out. The Nine Dragons flew out of Long Aeocean's manifestation, and his aura instantly erupted into a terrifying realm. Nine ancestral dragon souls have been summoned. The power of the Nine Dragons has been added to his heavenly Tao energy. Then the current Long Aeocean, the High Priest fell into deep thought. Should I use the Northern Source Sword too? Daoist Heavenly Feather whispered. You will definitely die if you enter the Tribulation, said the High Priest. It's worth this old life of mine to remove that scourge Long Aeocean. Daoist Heavenly Feather smiled slightly. Even if you enter the Tribulation, you might not be able to kill Long Aeocean. Furthermore, if you do die to his Tribulation, that will seriously affect Long Chen. Who knows what he'll do if you die in front of him. Right now, it still seems like everything is under his control. They are the main characters of this world. We just have to take action at the critical moment. Then when will that critical moment come? Asked Daoist Heavenly Feather. I don't know either. I've simply received the instruction from the Wine God to fully trust Long Chen. As for the details, the Wine God has not divulged the slightest bit to me. So it's impossible for us to have a dominating role. We just need to support Long Chen, said the High Priest. At this time, dragon roars filled the air. Long Aeocean's body also became covered in dragon scales, forming a thick battle armor. Dragon Chi swirled around him, and his aura was growing increasingly frightening. In the distance, the dragon woman's expression changed. That was because there was a black dragon amongst Long Aeocean's nine dragons. Furthermore, that was an ancestral dragon amongst black dragons. Ancestral dragons were dragon kings that had opened up a new bloodline path. They could be considered the ancestors of their bloodlines, the ones who laid down a foundation for their descendants. They created different cultivation techniques and divine abilities, resulting in a change in their bloodline. The dragons that followed them would inherit those new abilities. Only a dragon king that had opened a new bloodline inheritance was qualified to be called an ancestral dragon. In this case, that black dragon's power possessed a suppressive effect on her that made her extremely irritated. This meant that in the future, if she fought against Long Aeocean, that black dragons might cause her to be unable to release her full power. Furthermore, Long Aeocean might very likely know the divine abilities of the black dragon race due to this. In the future, she would definitely be at a disadvantage against him. Long Chen, no matter how you struggle, it's meaningless. You are fated to be my stepping stone. Just die. Long Aeocean stamped on the void, and the nine dragons behind him quivered. His dragon spear smashed toward Long Chen. The void collapsed in the face of a giant spear image. It was like a heavenly celestial weapon smashing down. Boom. Long Chen raised Evil Moon to block, but in front of that giant spear, he appeared incredibly minuscule. The void exploded, and Long Chen was smashed into the sea. Huge waves burst out of the sea, filling the sky with water. Not good. The people watching sensed a terrifying water energy contained in that water. Every drop possessed the possibility of killing them. With no time to run, they took out their weapons and attacked. Rumbling rang out. Countless experts coughed up blood. Although their combined power had suppressed this fallout, they turned pale. These were just some waves from their battle but already possessed this much power. If they were in the core region as well, wouldn't they simply die? After that single spear, the sea began to roar and form a giant whirlpool. Long Aeocean's spear was controlling the sea. This whirlpool seemed to reach the bottom of the sea. Where is Long Chen? Startled cries rang out. Long Chen didn't reappear. His aura is gone. Could it be? Long Chen's aura could no longer be sensed. People began to panic. Had he really been killed? Boss. The dragon blood warriors roared furiously. They were about to charge into the tribulation. Wait. Men Chi extended an arm, stopping them. Long Chen is definitely fine. This tribulation is his. If something happened to him, the five sovereigns would definitely vanish. Don't you see that the five sovereigns are still calm? When they looked at the sovereigns, they truly did see that their expressions were flat. They didn't react at all to this giant whirlpool. Boom. The giant whirlpool suddenly exploded. 
and a black robe figure charged out, its boss, just as the Dragonblood warriors began to cheer, their faces fell, one of Long Chen's arms was a bloody mess, and his black robes were in tatters, Long Chen is injured, people couldn't help being horrified, but thinking about it, it only made sense, surviving such a terrifying attack was practically a miracle, Long Aotian's heart shook, just now, he had not held back at all, but he still hadn't managed to kill Long Chen. Furthermore, although Long Chen's current condition looked bad, his aura did not show any signs of weakening. That meant that it wasn't a serious injury to him. At this moment, silence fell, and the sound of blood dripping was the only thing present. That was Long Chen's blood dripping into the sea. Long Chen's eyes were open now, and they were no longer red. He no longer seemed insane. Instead, his eyes were calm, but the calmness was even more frightening than the crazed look from before. It was like the gaze of an emotionless death god, someone who had grown numb to reaping lives. Just a few mudfish. The power of nine dragons? Long Aotian. Your trash. My spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone are in your body. Yet you humiliate them with this display? You aren't fit for them. Even if you give a monkey some dragon robes, they aren't an emperor. At best, you are a dancing clown. I'll take back what belongs to me today, said Long Chen. Keep dreaming. I have the support of nine dragons and the heavenly Tao energy. I am the very heavens. What will you use to fight me? Sneered Long Aotian. Despite his shock at Long Chen's power, he remained confident. I'll use this. Long Chen's divine ring suddenly shuddered, and six stars illuminated the world. A berserk power exploded and caused heaven and earth to change color. Six star battle armor. Long Chen's voice was like thunder ringing out through the sky, reaching every corner of the world. Chapter 2682 The true six star battle armor. Six stars revolved within Long Chen's divine ring, illuminating the world. Right now, an unstoppable power erupted within Long Chen's body, and the martial heaven sea ring sank beneath his feet. As the water was forced away, People saw the layers of restrictions down below. Those were the defenses of the sea demon race. It seemed that Long Chen's aura had penetrated to the bottom of the sea, the headquarters of the sea demon race. People even saw the terrain of the seafloor and some sea demons. They sensed their fear and unease. At this moment, the star corresponding to the Feng Fu star shot a beam of light at the Aliyah star. Long Chen's aura grew explosively. The Aliyah star then emitted a beam of divine light at the Life Fate star, setting it ablaze, making Long Chen's aura grow once more. After advancing to the Heaven Merging Realm, Long Chen's six star battle armor was finally able to unleash its full power. In the Heaven's Wrath state, every one of his stars seemed to represent an entire world. Following that, the Enlightenment Palace star and Divine Gate star also ignited. When that happened, the ground beneath Long Chen's feet crackled, and the 10,000 deos of the world were trampled beneath his feet. The entire world felt like it was on the verge of exploding. The 108,000 stars inside Long Chen's body were like a giant astral formation. Their power resonated with the five stars. Boom. Suddenly, the Nethergate star beneath his feet also ignited. It emitted a light toward the Feng Fu star, forming a six-sided design. After that, the space beneath Long Chen's feet exploded. Endless power gushed out of Long Chen's feet, and a terrifying current soared into the heavens. The stars up above shuddered. Long Chen had used the six-star battle armor before, but due to his cultivation base, he had been unable to unleash its full power. Now, this was the true six-star battle armor. Long Aotian was being forced back. Despite doing his best to stabilize himself, space was collapsing and he was forced back by Long Chen's aura. Two beams of light were all that remained in the collapsing space. The Aldevil Heavenwalker, the Blood Fiend Devil Lord, the Dragon Woman, Yi Ying, and the others were forced back miserably. However, their bodies suddenly trembled when they reached a certain range. They were no longer able to retreat any further, or they would leave the bounds of the heavenly tribulation. They were blocked by an invisible wall. Their expressions changed. They didn't know when this wall had appeared, sealing them in. The nine-headed lion had almost been killed by Long Chen back then, and he had only been saved due to the help of some peak expert from the demon race. At that time, there hadn't been this spatial wall. So where did it come from? 
They glanced toward the five sovereigns, and their hearts shook. Could it be that the five sovereigns had created this barrier to ensure that they couldn't escape? Yi Liangchen and Jiang Wachen were in the worst state. They almost directly smashed into that barrier. As a result, they hacked up blood, their bodies cracking. Both of them were filled with horror. Clearly, out of the experts within the core of the heavenly tribulation, the two of them were the weakest. They were almost killed by this eruption of Long Chen's aura. Of all of them, it was the pill fairy whose expression was the calmest. White flames burned around her body. She also had Wan Qing protected. Even as Long Chen's aura raged, it was simply incinerated when it reached her divine flames. Just outside the core, Mo Nian and the others were staring in shock. Seeing Long Chen in this state, Mo Nian's jaw dropped. When did this little fellow become so terrifying? I thought that I had surpassed him. In his current state, Long Chen appeared unspeakably domineering. It was as if he could look down on all things beneath the heavens. Even the divine family's experts' expressions changed, especially Long Aotian's father and mother. They had never dreamed that Long Chen would possess such power. How does this bastard possess such power when his spirit root, spirit bone, and spirit blood were taken? Are the heavens blind? Raged Long Aotian's mother. Back when Long Aotian was born, he was born with amazing talent that would be first rate even in the higher realm. In the mortal world, he should be an unrivaled existence. However, before he even had a chance to soak in that glory, Long Chen was born. His birth shook all the divine families. A mutated spirit root, supreme spirit blood, and a divine spirit bone. That was a natural immortal sprout. Back then, Long Aotian's mother had gone crazy with jealousy. She viewed Long Chen's birth as a personal slap in the face. However, no one would have imagined that this half-dead child that had had his spirit root, spirit blood, and spirit bone taken would survive and become another heaven-shaking genius. This was equivalent to another slap in her face. Upon seeing Long Chen forcing the 10,000 Daos to submit to him, her expression grew extremely unsightly. Aotian, kill him and tear his corpse to pieces. Even before she finished shouting, Long Aotian was already moving. That wasn't due to his mother's orders but due to the timing. Long Chen's aura would stagnate for a brief moment when his aura reached its peak. That was the optimal time to attack. At this moment, Long Aotian's dragon spear rumbled, and the nine dragons behind him erupted with their power. On the other hand, Long Chen snorted. Although Long Aotian's timing for this attack was correct, Long Chen wasn't afraid. He didn't even have a desire to dodge and just casually swung Evil Moon. His blow looked so incredibly weak as though it was done by a novice who couldn't even use their power properly. But considering who Long Chen was, how could that be possible? Suddenly, a strange explosion occurred. Long Chen's saber had clearly been slashing down, but when it struck the spear, it suddenly knocked the spear away and pierced forward toward Long Aotian's throat. Long Aotian was startled. This attack was truly bizarre. It had completely knocked aside the power of his dragon spear along with his body, causing him to practically fly toward Evil Moon. As a result, he roared furiously and stamped on the ground, dodging to the right. He only barely dodged the tip of Long Chen's saber. He had barely dodged Long Chen's saber when a hand that seemed to have been waiting for him struck his face. Unleashing a resounding and clear sound. Chapter 2683 Beating Long Aotian One was hastily dodging, while the other was actively advancing. The latter viciously rammed into the former, while the former viciously slapped the latter. As a result, the sound of bones breaking rang out, and Long Aotian let out a pained grunt. His head spun a full circle on his neck it went without saying that Long Aotian's physical body was extremely powerful. Anyone else? Even the Aldevil Heavenwalker or the others, would have died to the power of this slap. In truth, if it weren't for the nine dragon spirits that Long Aotian had summoned automatically blocking a portion of this attack's power, he might have directly died. Even so, the impact of this sudden slap made his head buzz, and he couldn't tell left from right. Hence, he randomly swung his dragon spear. As a result, with a loud bang, his dragon spear flew out of his hand. One was randomly swinging, while the other accurately struck. Long Chen's power completely suppressed Long Aotian. After knocking away his spear, Long Chen's saber slashed toward Long Aotian's neck. 
However, Long Aotian's claw suddenly reached toward Long Chen's face. It went without saying that Long Aotian was a true expert. After a slight delay, he quickly recovered. In that moment of crisis, he instantly figured out how to save himself. Taking advantage of how close they were versus how long Evil Moon was. Seeing this, Long Chen snorted and let go of Evil Moon. He shifted slightly, causing Long Aotian's attack to miss his vitals and strike his shoulder. Blood splashed. Even in the Azure Dragon battle armor, Long Chen's defenses were unable to block Long Aotian's claw. As a result, a chunk of his flesh was torn off. The power of Long Chen's physical body was well known throughout the Martial Heaven continent. Even divine items had trouble injuring him, but he was unable to block this simple claw from Long Aotian. So there definitely had to be some kind of divine ability hidden within this exchange. After tearing off Long Chen's flesh, Long Aotian unleashed a kick at Long Chen's abdomen. He was as quick as lightning and actually also skilled in close-range combat. As his kick was unleashed, Long Aotian's other hand formed hand seals. The dragon spear was already flying back to him. Based on Long Aotian's calculations, he would force back Long Chen and retrieve his weapon, and then unleash a barrage of attacks to take back the initiative. However, just at this moment, his scalp tightened. His hair had been grabbed by Long Chen. The reason why Long Chen hadn't blocked that attack was to grab his hair. That meant he had exchanged the wound to his shoulder for an opportunity. Hair was not an organ of the body and was also something an expert would not instinctively sense being in danger. As a result, Long Chen once more used the familiar move, pulling his opponent's face into his knee, once more breaking Long Aotian's nose which had just healed. Blood and snot flew through the air, as well as tears. A huge ripple spread through the air from the impact. At this moment, both friends and foes grimaced, having an instinctual sour feeling in their own noses. Long Chen then repeatedly slammed Long Aotian's face into his knee, and the immense power caused heaven and earth to shake. It was unimaginable what Long Aotian was enduring. Seeing a peerless expert be reduced to this state was shocking. This no longer seemed like a battle between experts but a shameless brawl between ruffians. Even the blood fiend Devil Lord and the others felt a shiver. The current Long Chen was like a berserk dragon. That power was perhaps something that only Long Aotian could endure. Long Chen's technique was simple and explosive, with nothing fancy about it. However, it was very effective. Long Aotian was unable to escape no matter how he struggled. He howled furiously, clawing at Long Chen's arms. But Long Chen didn't care. He repeatedly struck Long Aotian. Smash that bastard to death. Guo Ran raised his fist and cheered. Thinking of Long Aotian's previous arrogant display. The Dragonblood warriors felt that this display was particularly satisfying. Suddenly, sparks flew. Feeling startled, people looked up to see that above Long Chen and Long Aotian, Evil Moon and the Dragon Spear had collided. Their divine weapons are also attacking. People were startled. Divine items could actually fight without their master's controls? The stronger the divine item, the more unwilling they would be to be controlled by others. As a result, they were under harsher seals from their masters, so it was extremely rare to see a divine item fighting on its own. At this moment, Black Chi rippled out of Evil Moon, and it repeatedly clashed against the Dragon Spear. Every exchange was like two stars colliding, as the divine weapons fought as hard as their masters. Two different explosive sounds were repeatedly ringing out. However, they actually ended up in a nice rhythm, causing people's expressions to grow odd. Was this a fight or a musical display? Aotian, don't fight him in close range. That brute has countless shameless techniques at that range, shouted Long Kifeng, unable to endure this scene. Long Kifeng understood his son far too well. The Long family had invested everything into Long Aotian, so his close range skills were the strongest. Perhaps Long Chen had seen that and didn't wish to waste the effort on him. That was why he had chosen to be injured just in order to grab Long Aotian's hair. And now Long Aotian couldn't use any of his skills. Long Aotian also knew that if he wanted to reverse the tides, he had to escape from Long Chen's hold. However, Long Chen refused to let go. If it was someone else, the simplest solution would be to tear off their hair to escape. However, he couldn't. Every part of his body was marked with divine runes, even his hair. Hence. 
His hair was extremely tough, and not even divine items could cut it easily. Those runes were all supportive runes that allowed him to control even more divine abilities and magical arts. Ever since he was born, no enemy had ever grabbed his hair to attack him, so he had never thought about this scenario. As a matter of fact, his mind was a mess as he was repeatedly struck in the head by Long Chen. Long Chen, I will tear your corpse into 10,000 pieces. Blood suddenly exploded. Long Aotian escaped Long Chen's hold and shot back. However, not all of him got away. Long Chen still had a fist-sized chunk of Long Aotian's scalp in his hand, and rainbow blood dripped down it. Upon seeing that, everyone looked toward Long Aotian's head in unison. Chapter 2684 Long Aotian's Bloody Path While Long Aotian still had long hair, there was a section missing on the top of his head, an island within the sea if you will. Within this island, rainbow blood flowed out, dripping down his face. It framed his furious eyes and distorted face. Long Aotian's scalp had been torn off by Long Chen. Or perhaps it should be said that Long Aotian had had no choice but to be a Jekko cutting off his own tail in order to escape. He had sacrificed his scalp to turn the tide. Long Chen looked at Long Aotian's bloody scalp in his hand. He sneered. It seems that you didn't just take my spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone. You also took other people's. Long Aotian, you really are a mixed breed. Your current achievements are the result of piling up other people's talent. I'm curious, just how many geniuses did your despicable daddy and mommy ruin to create you? Only now did Long Chen realize that Long Aotian's essence blood was extremely mixed. There were various kinds of marvelous energy and not just Long Chen's essence blood inside it. Some weren't even human. It was no wonder that Long Aotian's aura was so strange when he unleashed it. Originally, Long Chen had thought that it was due to Long Aotian inheriting his mother's aura. But now he saw that Long Aotian had absorbed countless spirit roots, spirit bones, and spirit bloods. Long Chen was just one of them. At the same time, Long Chen understood why his divine spirit root had been degraded to a supreme bone. It was due to being infected by countless pieces of trash. Long Chen guessed that Long Aotian was unable to control a divine spirit bone, so he had been given other kinds of energy to suppress it, causing its tear to drop. Upon hearing Long Chen's words, an uproar occurred on the Martial Heaven continent side. Quite a few people were especially emotional and cursed Long Aotian. Long Aotian, you bastard, was my child stolen by you? My daughter was only a few days old when she was stolen. Was this done by you? Where is she? shouted a woman. My grandson wasn't even a year old before he was taken. Was this done by the divine families raged an old man? Brandishing a giant blade, countless people cursed Long Aotian and the Long family's people. Without exception, those people were behemoths in their own right. Moreover, they had one similarity, and that was the fact that inherently talented babies had been born into their families, and they had been taken by others shortly after their birth. These events all occurred at around the same time. Due to how large these powers were, they had viewed this as a familial shame as other powers wouldn't dare to do such a despicable thing to them. Thus, they were quite sure that it was done by a fellow member of the family as part of an internal squabble. A few also blamed their enemies and refused to believe their denials, resulting in torrents of blood. It was like a fuse had been lit, and those matters were now exposed. Although people weren't sure about the veracity of Long Chen's words, this sensitive topic made them exceptionally emotional. The Long family and even the other divine families were shaken. There were hundreds of families cursing them now. Don't listen to Long Chen's bullshit. Would our Long family do such a thing? Shouted Long Kifeng, refusing to admit to it. Fuck your mom. Even Long Chen's spirit root, spirit blood, and spirit bone were taken by you. You even harmed your own family's baby. So who says that you wouldn't do that to others? Roared others. Ants. Shut up. If you have any proof, then come to the Long family. If you don't, then shut your dog mouths. The divine families and the Long family can't be blasphemed by ants like you, sneered Long Aotian's mother. She was even more direct, demanding proof. But who could have proof? That was telling everyone that these two refused to admit it, and that no one could do anything about it. This infuriated everyone. As expected, 
the father and mother birthed the same kind of vile spawn as themselves. Long a ocean. Countless innocent people's blood flows through your veins. Are you not afraid of their vengeance? Even Bidang Rushuang couldn't hold back from cursing him. She had never encountered such a shameless family. Long a ocean. I curse you to have a terrible death. I curse you to die today. Long a ocean. You trash. How do you have the shamelessness to continue living in this world? Just end it yourself. Exactly. Your face was already slapped twice. And your scalp was torn off. You're already bald. You should just smash your head in and end it. Don't forget to get a good reference first though. Bring your mom and dad with you and you can all kill yourselves. People like you should have never been born in this world. Countless people's bloody hatred filled the air. And the most vicious curses fell upon Long A Ocean's family. Although there was no proof that those children that had suddenly vanished back in that year were related to them. Based on Long Chen's origin and Long A Ocean's family's attitudes, people were sure it was them. If it weren't for their apprehension toward the divine families, these people would have charged forward for vengeance for their killed babies. Shut up. Long A Ocean suddenly roared, his voice backed by nine dragon roars. He had gone insane, as his secret had been exposed by Long Chen turning him into the target of everyone's hatred and scorn. Right now, his face was covered in blood and twisted with rage, looking like a malicious spirit. Seeing the shocked and infuriated Long A Ocean, Long Chen felt great content. After that, he extended his hand. Flames burst into existence, incinerating Long A Ocean's scalp and hair. Then a rainbow flame seed appeared with countless runes flowing inside it before it was all incinerated. Once that was done, Long Chen rested Evil Moon on his shoulder. You are just trash. No matter how many resources are piled into your body, it's still useless. My own spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone have degraded in your body. Did you not realize? Debts must be repaid sooner or later. I won't bother you with taking other people's things, but since you've taken mine, I'll be taking it back with a thousand times the price. Long Chen suddenly vanished. Hence. Long A Ocean was startled and hastily swung his dragon spear above him. Just at that moment, a crack split open in the void, and a black robed Long Chen came out like a merciless death god, slashing his saber. Boom. After a powerful explosion, both of their figures vanished from the sky. Chapter 2685 Sovereign Seal Undone Long Chen and Long A Ocean vanished, startling everyone. After that, they quickly saw the sea below exploding and raging. Only then did they realize immense power was exploding down below. The void once more exploded, and their figures reappeared and disappeared once more. Their figures repeatedly vanished and appeared, vanished and appeared. Every time, a heaven-shaking explosion would erupt, either in the sky or the sea. It was impossible to track them with the naked eye. There was also no way to lock onto them spiritually. They've grasped the power of heaven merging so quickly? They can freely shuttle through the void, exclaimed a heaven merging expert. This blinking was in truth spatial control, and only some old fellows who had advanced to this realm hundreds or thousands of years ago could do it. For them, it had taken years or decades after advancing to heaven merging in order to grasp this ability, but the two of them had suddenly comprehended it in the middle of the tribulation. This comprehension ability made others feel worthless. Senior, how is their battle going? Is Long Chen suppressing Long A Ocean? Asked one person. The heaven merging elder replied. They currently seem evenly matched. But Long Chen seems to be the one pressing the attack. Trying to force Long A Ocean into close range combat. Meanwhile. Long A Ocean is trying to create distance. But he's unable to escape Long Chen. Explained that elder. Boom. With one final explosion. Long A Ocean appeared coughing up blood that transformed into a giant rainbow dragon that immediately exploded, shattering the void. The immense power forced Long Chen out. Just as the elder said, Long A Ocean was at a great disadvantage against Long Chen in close range. Although he was very powerful, compared to Long Chen's rich experience, he was still one level inferior. Being slapped in the face and having his scalp torn off had left a large shadow on his heart resulting in him always trying to escape whenever Long Chen approached him. However, seeing Long Chen fighting more and more ruthlessly, 
he clenched his teeth and sacrificed a portion of his essence blood to force Long Chen back. After that, their figures reappeared clearly. Long Aotian let out a howl, and his manifestation shuddered. As a result, the nine dragons charged at Long Chen from nine different directions. Nine dragons surround the pearl. The nine dragons opened their mouths, instantly sealing the space around Long Chen and trapping him in a giant ball of light. This move came incredibly fast, so fast that others couldn't even react before Long Chen was caught. Evil Moon swept out multiple times but merely caused the sphere to shudder. It could not be broken. Ripples spread as the sphere thickened itself layer by layer and began to compress the space inside. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, you're definitely dead. This technique is composed of heavenly Tao energy and my nine ancestral dragons power. Once formed, you are surely trapped. Go and meet your parents Long Aotian laughed, but his laugh was a bit forced as he was panting. Fighting Long Chen and then unleashing this impressive technique had clearly come at a cost. Hence, Long Aotian was no longer in his peak condition. They're clearly just nine mudfish. So how dare they call themselves nine dragons? What a huge joke. Long Chen still appeared as calm as ever within this sealed space. You dare to say such big words before death? Nine dragon execution. Heaven trapping art. The sphere of light rapidly compressed. And nine chains shot toward Long Chen from within the sphere. Boom. Long Chen was instantly wrapped by those chains. There was a large sphere on the outside and now a sphere of chains on the inside. Well done. Ha ha ha. Long Aotian was surprised to see Long Chen not struggling at all. But then a sinister voice rang out. It was filled with ecstasy, as if a fiend had escaped from the depths of hell. Yun Shang, you bastard. I am finally released from your seal. Evil Moon's voice rang out once more. Boom. As a result, the chains binding Long Chen shuddered. Tiny cracks covered the chains and then spread all the way back to the larger sphere, until the entire technique shattered. Within the flying runic fragments, Black Chi raged and Long Chen came walking out of it. Black robes, black hair, black saber, and black Chi. They seemed to mix with each other, like a god of darkness. Long Chen appeared to be an entirely different person now. His aura caused people to shudder. Ha ha ha, Evil Moon laughed. Fuck. I'm finally released after being sealed for so long. Long Chen, let's put in some work and kill a few more. Evil Moon's aura had completely transformed. It was as if it had been dead before and had now come to life. Evil Moon really had to thank Long Aotian. The energy of his nine dragons had truly been perfect. Originally, Long Chen had been planning on using the ninth form of Split the Heavens to break this attack. But Evil Moon had stopped him. At that time. It had a sudden thought. Perhaps it was because it had been with Long Chen for too long. But it had also become greedy and had thought of a brazen idea. Using its dark energy, it devoured the power of the nine dragons. The strongest divine ability of the dark evil dragon was to devour and rapidly digest what it devoured. This plan really succeeded. And it managed to break apart Yun Shang's seal. It was like it had completed a prison sentence and was full of bloodthirstiness at this moment. It had to vent its anger. Kill. Long Chen and Evil Moon shouted at the same time, resulting in the Black Chi surrounding Long Chen to explode. He then shot out like a shooting star. Nine dragons roar at the heavens. Long Aotian roared and his nine dragons returned to his manifestation. Nine dragon marks began to flow on top of his spear. Fuck your damn heavens. I'll make you cry today. Evil Moon's voice was ice cold. The Black Chi around it suddenly solidified and its blade became white like the sharp tooth of a beast. Chapter 2686 Leader of the Sea Demons Evil Moon slashed onto Long Aotian's dragon spear, causing an explosion that darkened the entire world. As a result, people's ears buzzed and their senses were flipped. It was as if the entire world was thrown into chaos. Long Aotian spat out blood. This dragon spear made of immortal gold from a higher plane was actually damaged by Evil Moon. There was now a cut in it, and he was sent smashing into the sea. Long Aotian's parents' expressions completely changed. Evil Moon had fully undone its seal, allowing it to unleash apocalyptic power. Most shocking of all was that Evil Moon was clearly an incredibly evil divine weapon, and yet despite having no restrictions on it, it was still willing to allow Long Chen to use it. Ha ha ha, that was satisfying. Again, 
Evil Moon cried out excitedly. Its chains had been destroyed, so its power was no longer suppressed by anything. After being suppressed for so long, Evil Moon finally regained its freedom. Hence, it needed to vent its emotions. While slashing Evil Moon, Long Chen chased after Long Aotian who was covered in blood. With no other choice but to defend, Long Aotian's rainbow blood and nine dragons suddenly transformed into a net flying toward Long Chen. Insignificant trick. Keep dreaming. Evil Moon slashed through the air, and this net created from heavenly Tao energy shattered on contact, transforming into runes. Long Aotian was shocked. That was one of his top techniques that had trapped countless experts. He hadn't been hoping for it to kill Long Chen, but it should at least stall Long Chen and give him some breathing room. This move might have been effective before, but now that Evil Moon's seal was undone, its dark energy was capable of devouring all kinds of energy. Hence, this move was useless against it. Bastard. Long Aotian clenched his teeth. Feeling desperate, he stabbed his dragon spirit Long Chen. Boom. The sea exploded and Long Aotian was sent smashing further into the depths of the sea. The sea water burst into the sky. After pushing Long Aotian deeper and deeper, the two of them quickly reached the bottom of the sea. Long Aotian's expression changed because they had reached the bottom of the sea. This was the headquarters of the sea demon race, and there were countless constructions down below that had set up large formations. Go! Long Chen shouted and increased his power, not giving Long Aotian any chance to react. Just like that, he slammed Long Aotian into the sea demon race's grand formation. Boom! A giant barrier of light was instantly pierced by Long Aotian. As a result, he coughed up more blood and the two of them began fighting within the headquarters of the sea demon race. Long Aotian went crazy with rage, as Long Chen was actually using him as a weapon. Breaking through that barrier had cost his nine dragons devour the heavens diagram to use up a huge amount of heavenly Tao energy. Although he was just borrowing this heavenly Tao energy, as the conduit, this sudden loss came at an immense backlash to his own body. This damage was even worse than a physical wound. In this area, there were countless immortal caves, and Long Aotian smashed into one of the mountains, causing it to shatter. As a result, countless sea demons that were hiding inside were blasted to bits, and the sea rapidly turned red. Sea demon race, didn't you want to take my karmic luck pearl? Well, here I am to give it to you, shouted Long Chen. He kicked Long Aotian that had just crawled out of the wreckage. Long Aotian was like a cannonball blasted through the mountains behind him killing countless sea demons. The nine dragons devour the heavens diagram behind him contained the will of the heavenly deos. Hence, it automatically protected its master, drawing out heavenly Tao energy to protect him when he smashed into those mountains. At this moment, the sea demons met with calamity as heavenly Tao energy ran rampant along with the power of heavenly tribulation here. After all, they were still in the midst of the tribulation so the power of heavenly tribulation was still baptizing them. Anyone else struck by that power was instantly killed. Boom. Suddenly, the sea floor exploded. An elder with a bone trident flew out and actually attacked Long Chen. This was a mid-heaven merging expert with an aura like a mountain. However, that elder was killed with a random swing of his saber, surprising Long Chen as well. When had he gotten so strong that even mid-heaven merging experts could be killed with a wave of his hand? Although he was no longer afraid of mid-heaven merging experts, he knew that fighting them would not be considered effortless. The heavenly tribulation is still present. The heavenly deos will strip them of their cultivation basis, forcing them to the initial heaven merging realm, the same realm as you. Don't mess around and focus on killing. After being sealed for so long, I've long since grown thirsty, shouted Evil Moon. Hearing that, Long Chen instantly became unbridled. He swung Evil Moon through the air, killing countless sea demons. Many of those sea demons had reached the heaven merging realm, but they were unable to bear a single blow from Long Chen. Run. He has the laws of the heavenly deos around him. We can't get close to him, shouted an old sea demon with a golden crown on his head. He had noticed the clues. At this moment, Long Chen was unrivaled by any of them. Anyone who got close to him would have their cultivation base suppressed to the same level as him. Moreover, their numbers couldn't help them either. It seems that you're the head of this place. 
Long Chen's eyes lit up when he saw that elder. His aura was quite astonishing. Probably around the same level as the Lord Venerate of the Divine Families. That elder's expression instantly changed. So he transformed into a giant sea serpent and fled. Get back here, barked Long Chen. His black chi wriggled and transformed into a giant dragon tail behind him. Like a bolt of lightning, he shot after that elder of the sea demons. Chapter 2687 Bloody Massacre of the Sea Demons That dragon tail was not Long Chen's magical art but Evil Moon's support. At this moment, dark runes transformed into the dragon tail and propelled Long Chen forward like a bolt of lightning. He caught up to the elder in almost an instant. Long Chen immediately slashed his saber, sending that elder flying. The bone trident in his hands was sliced apart. It really is true. This confirmed that the elder was suppressed by the heavenly deos. Originally, Long Chen had been a bit worried, but now he was at ease. Old ghost, you were the one who sneak attacked me before. Taste my blade. The dragon tail behind Long Chen pushed him forward once more, allowing him to reach the elder in the blink of an eye. Upon seeing this, the elder's expression changed, and he took out a white tortoise shell. This was an amazing treasure emitting ancient air. Boom. However, in front of Evil Moon, it wasn't worth a single fart. With one blow, it splintered and broke apart. As a result, the elder coughed up a mouthful of blood. At this moment, the other sea demons began to charge at Long Chen. This elder was the demon emperor of the sea demon race, their strongest expert. If Long Chen killed him, the sea demon race would be doomed. Evil Moon slashed through the air, killing tens of thousands of sea demons with every blow. Blood and limbs filled the sea. However, they continued crazily assaulting Long Chen, giving that elder some time to escape. What a group of idiots. If you knew this day would come, would you still make the same choices as before? Today, I'll erase the sea demon race from this world. Long Chen repeatedly swung Evil Moon. Unleashing giant saber images that tore through the sea demons regardless of their cultivation base. No one could stop him. Long Chen had no mercy for the sea demon race. He had come here with the determination to eradicate them. Just like the corrupt path, they were traitors to the martial heaven continent. Boom. Long Chen's arms suddenly shuddered. Long Aotian had finally returned after his break. It was unknown if it was because he had found a chance to counterattack or if he was trying to save that elder of the sea demon race. Scram. Long Chen gripped Evil Moon with both hands and sent the elder flying. After that, Long Chen shot after the elder like a furious arrow. No sea demon was able to stop him. As a result, the elder had a panicked expression as he fled. Meanwhile, countless sea demons flocked over but were unable to stop Long Chen who was like a bloodthirsty devil king. With every blink of an eye, tens of thousands of sea demons were killed. This place was the headquarters of the sea demon race, their very heart. Hence, those that were gathered here were their greatest experts, but they were like chives being wreaked by Long Chen. As Long Chen fought beneath the sea, the experts above continued to watch through formations that projected what was happening down below. The sea turned red and countless corpses floated up onto the surface. Boss, wipe out the sea demon race. Remove this scourge for us, shouted Guo Ran so excitedly that it was like he was the one fighting down below. In his opinion, the sea demon race was constantly courting death. They had found trouble for Long Chen multiple times and had never learned their lesson. Instead, the conflict just intensified to the point that they had stolen his karmic luck pearl. Now they had done it. They had finally succeeded in courting death. As Long Chen was undergoing his tribulation here, heaven and earth were sealed along with the depths of the sea. They couldn't even run and were like tortoises trapped in a jar. Dragon woman, your family's about to be slaughtered. Even if you don't go help, you should let out a few tears to express your filial piety, snickered Guo Ran. The dragon woman was ashen, but she didn't reply to Guo Ran only quietly watching Long Chen kill the experts of the sea demon race. It was unknown whether she didn't dare to go help or if she simply didn't wish to. Boom. Suddenly, a powerful explosion came from the bottom of the sea. Long Aotian was sent flying by a blow from Long Chen. Right now, he was no longer a match for Long Chen and was only able to disturb him. Long Chen chased after that elder, seeing a giant altar up ahead. 
he suddenly realized something. However, there were too many sea demons here, and they were all coming to stop him. He was killing and killing, but he couldn't kill them all. So Long Chen only watched as the elder charged onto the altar. There, he slapped his chest and spat out a mouthful of blood onto the altar. In that instant, he aged a great deal as if his longevity had been stripped away. Suddenly, a terrifying power rose from beneath the earth, and Long Chen's heart shuddered. As a bad feeling rose inside of him, he immediately fled to the sky. However, it seemed that Long Aotian had long since anticipated this result and had fled long before him. As for the sea demons down below, they were lost, not knowing what had just happened. The earth crumbled, revealing golden light that exterminated everything touched by it. The billions of sea demons that Long Chen hadn't killed yet were blown apart by that golden light. The heaven devastating bracelet. Noveloon.com Long Chen's heart shuddered as he recognized that aura. It was like a sinister curse suffocating the martial heaven continent's life, a bracelet forcing it to decline and wither. At this moment, the seafloor exploded, unleashing a huge tsunami. Through the golden light, he saw a huge chunk of immortal gold. Although it was just one tiny part, it was enough to make him suffocate. That million-mile surface seemed to just be the tip of the iceberg. Now Long Chen had seen the legends behind the origin of the Martial Heaven Sea Ring, which said that a giant bracelet had smashed into the continent and created it. Although Long Chen was retreating quickly, that terrifying light quickly caught up to him. As for that elder, he seemed crazy. Die. He had sacrificed so many experts of his race. Activating the Heaven Devastating Bracelet had killed them, but he considered it worth it if he could drag down Long Chen as well. Long Chen was devoured by that terrifying golden light, causing countless hearts to clench. Chapter 2688 Central Plains Cauldron Only a tip of the heaven devastating bracelet was revealed, but the light it unleashed had annihilated all the experts within this headquarters of the sea demon race. It was the demon emperor of the sea demon race that had activated this attack. He had been forced to the point where he had no other option. Long Chen had the laws of the heavenly tribulation on him, allowing him to suppress all others who got close to him to the same cultivation base as him. If that had continued, all those sea demons would have been killed sooner or later. Hence, as the emperor, he had directly activated the heaven devastating bracelets attack to make sure that Long Chen at least accompanied them. He was truly ruthless. Amongst those that were killed just now were his own progeny. Hence, his face was twisted. He had truly lost out this time. He shouldn't have provoked Long Chen. Or more accurately, he shouldn't have used the heaven devastating bracelet's power to steal the karmic luck pearl. He had originally thought that the sea demon race's profound power would be enough to shake the martial heaven continent and allow the karmic luck pearl to fall easily into their pocket, allowing them to give rise to a sovereign. It was a great plan, but it had provoked the hornet's nest. But rather than just some angry hornets, he had drawn out a terrifying hornet king like Long Chen. The sea demon race's top experts were slaughtered by him, and the only thing that comforted the elder was that once Long Chen was killed by the heaven devastating bracelet, they could turn things around. Of all these experts, it was the dragon woman that had been infected by the most karmic luck from the pearl. Once Long Chen died, the karmic luck pearl would definitely choose her as master. She would be the sixth generation sovereign. Boom. Suddenly, the golden light exploded, unleashing Black Chi. As Long Chen's divine ring shuddered, a black two headed dragon appeared within it. At this moment, a dragon row rang out, forcing back the golden light and bringing Long Chen to the surface. A trash bracelet that hasn't even awoken yet thinks it can trap me? Keep dreaming, sneered Evil Moon. This was Evil Moon's original appearance. It had appeared within Long Chen's divine ring. Furthermore, his white scales had now become half black. Light and dark twisted around each other. Long Chen was in a strange state. Long Chen, that fellow has activated the heaven devastating bracelet, causing him to lose most of his longevity. Killing him is now no longer so meaningful. Go, kill that Long Aotian, shouted Evil Moon, having been unleashed from its seal. Evil Moon was filled with power that it wanted to release. Originally, it had required an equal level of power from Long Chen just to draw out some of its power, but now it was different. 
It could unleash its full power and merge it with Long Chen. Although Long Chen had the essence blood of an azure dragon within his veins, the blood of a true dragon, in the end, its grade was too low. On the other hand, Evil Moon was a dragon king. If Yun Shang had not destroyed its physical body, it might even advance to a dragon ancestor and open up an original cultivation path. At this moment, the sea exploded and Long Aotian came flying out. However, Long Chen was following right behind with his dragon tail and immediately attacked. As a result, Long Aotian's arms shuddered and his dragon scale shattered. He became covered in blood. The sight of him being injured to this extent aroused several cries. Someone as powerful as Long Aotian was actually fully suppressed by Long Chen. Aotian, Long Aotian's mother cried out. Long Chen was like a monster, and Long Aotian wasn't a match for him. At this moment, Long Aotian's dragon spear flew out of his hand. He was no longer able to match Long Chen and Evil Moon's combined power. Long Aotian's expression completely changed. Evil Moon's power could only be described as terrifying. Long Chen was already powerful enough, but now he had a strange devouring power as well. This devouring power was weakening Long Aotian's offense and defense. With him weakening and Long Chen strengthening, he was naturally at a complete disadvantage. Long Aotian rapidly formed one-handed seals to summon his dragon spear back. Without it, there was no way for him to withstand Evil Moon's sharpness. However, his hand seals had yet to be completed before Long Chen cut off his arm at the shoulder. Long Chen also kicked him in the ribs, breaking half of them. Instinctively, Long Chen almost reached out to grab Long Aotian's hair, only to grab nothing but blood. It was because the top of Long Aotian's head no longer had hair, only bloody scabs. Taking advantage of that brief lapse, Long Aotian kicked Long Chen's chest. He had thought that this would force Long Chen to retreat. But he didn't expect Long Chen to simply stand there and take his kick. When his foot landed, his expression completely changed. It was as if his foot had landed on a giant star. At that moment, his foot broke and a bad premonition overwhelmed him. After that, a hand that was like an iron hook tightened around his ankle. How many fathers and mothers had their hearts broken because of you? How many people had their spirit bloods, spirit roots, and spirit bones taken because of you? Your retribution has come today. Long Chen grabbed Long Aotian's leg and suddenly stamped his foot on Long Aotian's crotch while pulling with his hand. In front of countless shocked gazes, Long Aotian's leg was forcibly ripped off. Rainbow blood splashed. Other than a portion of the Divine Family's people, no one felt sympathy for Long Aotian. Most people only felt satisfaction. Long Chen, you dare to injure my son. I will tear your entire family into pieces, roared Long Aotian's mother. Her face was twisted in fury. Long Aotian was her favorite, her pride and joy, as well as her life's greatest hope. Her roar drew countless people's disdain. No wonder Long Aotian was such trash. It was because he had a mother who was the pinnacle of malicious trash. Pretending not to hear anything, Long Chen once more shot after Long Aotian. Slashing Evil Moon while the latter screamed in pain. Long Chen, since you're so vicious, don't blame me for killing you in place of the heavens. Long Kiffin couldn't hold back any longer. Upon forming hand seals, an imposing sacred cauldron flew out. The Central Plains Cauldron. Upon spotting that bronze cauldron, everyone was shocked. The Central Plains Cauldron was actually with the Divine Families. Furthermore, Long Kiffin was controlling it. At this moment, this member of the five supreme divine items smashed toward Long Chen, and everyone's expression changed. Was Long Kiffin planning on using the Central Plains Cauldron to eliminate Long Chen? Chapter 2689 Three-Eyed Ghost Mastiff The Bronze Cauldron was one of the five supreme divine items. The Central Plains Cauldron. Its very existence shook the world. The Central Plains Cauldron smashed into the heavenly barrier surrounding the tribulation and instantly pierced through it. Zhikyu, Daoist Heavenly Feather suddenly sent a transmission to Yi Zhikyu. The Northern Source Sword in Yi Zhikyu's hand flew toward Daoist Heavenly Feather. Slow down. Just as Daoist Heavenly Feather was about to interfere, the High Priest stopped her. Senior Daoist Heavenly Feather was startled. That was the Central Plains Cauldron. No matter how strong Long Chen was, 
He couldn't possibly endure an attack from it. It still isn't the time. The high priest shook his head. Just at this moment, the central plane's cauldron smashed toward Long Chen, leaving a long black tail in the void where it passed. Stunning people. Don't be afraid. Just kill it. Who cares about some supreme divine item? Said Evil Moon arrogantly. It was as if it had returned to its era of not fearing the heavens or earth. Hearing that, Long Chen felt greater confidence. He had never been afraid of battle. It was as if he was born to live for battle. Facing the central plane's cauldron, Long Chen wasn't worried for himself. He had only been worried that Evil Moon would be injured. But since it was fearless, he was also fearless. He raised Evil Moon and unleashed a full power slash. Boom. The entire world shuddered when Evil Moon slashed the central plane's cauldron. At this moment, the martial heaven sea ring exploded unleashing pillars of water into the heavens and piercing the spatial walls of the world. Not good. The surrounding experts cried out in alarm. Just those water pillars contained terrifying power. Suddenly, a sharp blade swept through the void, cutting through the water pillars and turning them into ice pillars that sank back into the sea. Everyone sighed with relief and cast a grateful glance at Daoist Heavenly Feather. If it weren't for her, it was unknown how many people would have died just now. They hastily returned their focus to the heavenly tribulation. At this moment, Long Chen was being forced back by the central plane's cauldron. The void beneath his feet was constantly exploding as it pressed him. Long Chen's full strength attack was only able to stop the majority of the central plane's cauldron's power. However, the excess power was forcing him to retreat. He received it. People were shocked and relieved that Long Chen had managed to receive the attack of one of the five supreme divine items. Just as Long Chen was being forced back by the central plane's cauldron, five figures suddenly attacked at the same time. Long Aotian had gotten a chance to breathe and had rapidly recovered. Hence, he attacked without hesitation, his dragon spear piercing toward Long Chen. At the same time, the Aldevil Heavenwalker, the Blood Fiend Devil Lord, the dragon woman, and Yi Ming also stopped watching. Without even thinking about it, they also attacked Long Chen. The power that Long Chen had displayed so far made them feel fear. As this was their best chance to eliminate him, they couldn't let it slip by. All of Long Chen's power was currently focused on stopping the central plane's cauldron. If he switched to blocking their attacks, he would be instantly wiped out by the central plane's cauldron. Despicable. The dragon blood warriors roared furiously. Five peak experts from different powers were actually joining forces against Long Chen in this moment of crisis. However, at this moment, an arrow suddenly appeared in front of Long Aotian. It was only three inches from his face before he sensed it. Startled, he slammed his palm against that arrow. It then exploded, shaking his arm. After his long and intense fight against Long Chen and adding on all his injuries, his physical power was no longer at its peak. Even his control over the world's energy had been gravely affected. As for Mo Nian, he was in his peak condition, and that arrow contained the essence of all his life's comprehension. Hence, Long Aotian was forced back. Just as Long Chen fell into a crisis, it wasn't just Mo Nian who took action. The white-robed Yun Tian also appeared in front of the Aldevil Heavenwalker, forcing the latter back. Nangong Zuayu. Bidang Rushuang, Zeman Shiangsheng, and Hu Feng all made their moves. They did not allow these attacks to reach Long Chen. The die behind Hu Feng was originally spinning rapidly, but it suddenly came to a stop. After that, four spots appeared on the side facing the heavens. Hu Feng formed hand seals and murmured something. At the next moment, those four spots unleashed four pillars of light into the sky, and a giant spatial gate appeared there. After that, the spatial gate cracked and exploded. A giant claw reached out with the aura of another world toward the dragon woman. Boom. The dragon woman was forced back and then stared in shock at the sky. The void was cracking and breaking apart as a giant figure came out of the gate. My luck wasn't very good. I only summoned a three-eyed ghost mastiff. But it should be no problem to hold you back, said Hu Fang. What he had summoned was a giant black mastiff, and its claws were like tusks. Although its cultivation base seemed to be around the initial heaven merging realm, it was extremely terrifying. The dragon woman felt a cold sensation. 
This Mastiff's third eye in particular gave her a sense of death. At this moment, Hu Feng jumped onto the Mastiff's head, forming hand seals. He closed his eyes and sat down. The three-eyed ghost Mastiff suddenly unleashed a heaven-shaking roar. It shot toward the dragon woman like a bolt of black lightning. Leave this dragon woman to me. Hu Feng's voice resounded throughout heaven and earth. All you did was summon some monster from another world. You dare to be so arrogant raged the dragon woman. In her eyes, Hu Feng was nothing more than a minor character. Yet, he dared to think of blocking her. She transformed into a black dragon, and her sharp claws raked through the air. Their claws clashed and both exploded, filling the air with blood. The dragon woman was startled. This strange three-eyed ghost mastiff actually had an incredibly powerful physical body, one that was not at all inferior to hers. In her fury, she began a tempest of attacks. So one dragon and one mastiff started to exchange vicious blows. As Hu Feng fought the dragon woman, Yan Tian held back the blood fiend devil lord and the Aldevil heaven walker on his own. As for Nangong Zuayu, Bidang Rushuang, and Zeman Shiangsheng, they attacked Yi Ming together. Seeing their opportunity come, Yi Liangchen and Jiang Wachen stealthily approached Long Chen with their weapons, waiting to launch a fatal blow when the opportunity struck. Just as they moved, a lithe figure blocked their path. When they saw who it was, they were surprised and angered. Feng Fei, what are you doing? Do you wish to betray the divine families? raged Yi Liangchen. The one blocking them was precisely one of the divine families' four sovereign sprouts. Feng Fei, Chapter 2690 Divine Items Collide with Her Sword in Hand Feng Fei blocked Jiang Wachen and Yi Liangchen's path. This action of her startled everyone. Feng Fei angrily shouted, Long Aotian is a disgrace to the divine families. His entire family is trash that has tarnished the honor of the divine families. So I will not permit you to help Long Aotian. We should not participate in their battle what bullshit. What kind of time is it for this kind of nonsense? In the martial path, when is reason ever taken into account? Get out of my way. Your conduct is already a betrayal of the divine families. Have you considered the consequences? Raged Yi Liangchen. Feng Fei frostily said, Long Chen and I are destined to be enemies. But even as enemies, it is an above-board confrontation. If on the martial path I am unable to beat him, I will be killed by him without regrets. However, such despicable means are an insult to the divine families. I can die, but I will not bend my spine. If you go over, it will be joining forces with the invaders. Even if you kill Long Chen, it will only be a disgrace to the divine families. I will not allow such blasphemy to the divine families. Don't force me, or we can fight to the death right now. People stared in shock at Feng Fei as her voice resounded through the air. No one had expected that as a fellow member of the divine families, she would have much greater integrity than Yi Liangchen, Jiang Wachen, and Long Aotian. She truly was a strong woman. Courting death, Yi Liangchen furiously prepared to attack. However, he was stopped by Jiang Wachen. Yi Liangchen raged. And what are you doing? Jiang Wachen's expression changed several times. In the end, he helplessly said, She is my little sister. I don't care if she's right or wrong. I won't let you kill her. You. Yi Liangchen was infuriated. Jiang Wachen was saying that he wouldn't stand beside Feng Fei, but he wouldn't allow him to kill her either. Just as Yi Liangchen was wondering whether or not it was worth it to have a falling out with both of them, Zi Yan flew over to Long Chen with the Southern Sea Zither. In front of everyone's shocked gazes, Zi Yan actually smashed the Southern Sea Zither directly onto the Central Plains Cauldron. Bang! The two supreme divine items collided, but curiously, the heaven-shaking explosion everyone anticipated didn't occur. It was just an ordinary collision. The Southern Sea Zither and the Central Plains Cauldron retreated at the same time. Central Plains Cauldron, if you don't awaken now, when will you? Zi Yan suddenly shouted, but her voice was different. It contained a mighty and majestic tone. Buzz. The Central Plains Cauldron's runes suddenly lit up and a sacred aura rose. The Central Plains Cauldron seemed to come to life. In that instant, Long Kifeng's expression changed. That was because he suddenly realized that the Central Plains Cauldron was no longer under his control. 
the central plane's cauldron's divine light slowly grew, and one rune after another lit up. Following that, chains began to appear on it one by one. The central plane's cauldron is being controlled unwillingly. Upon seeing those chains, furious gazes shot toward Long Kifeng. Those chains were most likely something that they had added in order to forcibly control it. The divine families had actually used despicable means. Divine families, you really are shameless. You even dare to scheme against the martial heaven continent's five supreme divine items. Furious roars rang out. The five supreme divine items were the martial heaven continent's natural divine items that maintained the continent's karmic luck. They were called the continent's protective gods but the divine families had been forcibly controlling one of them against its will. The divine families had become hated due to the way Long Aotian's parents had raised Long Aotian, by stealing other people's spirit bloods, spirit roots, and spirit bones. But now, that fury reached an unprecedented level. There was no longer any way for the divine families to explain themselves. Long Kifeng's expression was extremely ugly. After that, he rapidly made hand seals, trying to control the central plane's cauldron. However, after being struck by the southern sea zither, the central plane's cauldron seemed to have awoken from a deep slumber. It was no longer willing to be controlled. The central plane's cauldron was in a strange state and was slowly awakening, no longer sensing any threat from it. He suddenly stamped on the air, shooting toward the blood fiend devil lord. The Blood Fiend Devil Lord and the Aldevil Heaven Walker were fighting Yun Tian when the Blood Fiend Devil Lord's heart shuddered. He looked back to see Long Chen charging over, and his expression completely changed. His blood sun staved off Yun Tian as he retrieved his bone tower to block Long Chen. Boom! Evil Moon slashed onto the huge tower, and the Blood Fiend Devil Lord coughed up a mouthful of blood. He was powerless to resist in front of Long Chen's explosive power. The tower was sent flying, and Evil Moon slashed through the Blood Fiend Devil Lord's waist, cutting him in two. Die. Long Chen didn't give him any chance and unleashed another slash, this time at his head. Suddenly, the tower shuddered and another heavenly gate opened in the sky. The Blood Fiend Devil Lord was sucked into the giant tower and directly fled through that heavenly gate. It's another expert from a different world. This was the same as how the nine-headed lion had fled. Some supreme expert from his world had opened a gate between worlds to save him. Following this, the Aldevil Heaven Walker blazed with divine light and was sucked into a world gate. Then a giant white bone claw tore through the void and grabbed Yi Ming, dragging him away. In the blink of an eye, all the experts from other worlds that Long Chen was fighting had been saved, other than Long Aotian and the Dragon Woman. Bastards, if the damn divine families hadn't used the Central Plains Cauldron. None of those people would have had a chance to escape raged the experts of the Martial Heaven Continent, if it weren't for the Central Plains Cauldron shattering the barrier of the Heavenly Tribulation. There was no way that those experts would have dared to interfere in the Heavenly Tribulation. The Nine-Headed Lion was an exception. At that time, the barrier had yet to fully form, allowing him to be a fish that slipped through the net. However, now the big fish had also managed to get away. The continent's experts had missed their best chance to slay the peak geniuses of the invading worlds. So the people's hatred toward Long Aotian's family rose to another level. Upon seeing those powerful experts be saved, Long Chen's fury soared. Now all his efforts were meaningless. Long Aotian, seeing the bewildered Long Aotian, Long Chen smiled sinisterly. He looked like a leopard staring at an alarmed rabbit Long Aotian immediately fled trying to escape the tribulation. Boom. However, he ran directly into a heavenly barrier. The heavenly tribulation's barrier had recovered at some point, forcing him to remain inside. An icy blade stabbed through Long Aotian's back and out his chest. With a shake of Long Chen's arm, Long Aotian's body exploded. Chapter 2691 Undying Body He Was Killed. No. His blood. People immediately sensed something off. Even once Long Aotian exploded, it was just a mist of red blood, not rainbow blood. At this moment, Long Aotian's figure quickly reappeared within his manifestation, his face pale. His aura had clearly dropped a great deal. Furthermore, one of the nine dragons within his manifestation had vanished. What's going on? Does he have an undying body? Startled cries rang out. 
They had clearly seen Long A Ocean be killed by Long Chen, but he was reborn within his manifestation. They didn't dare to believe their eyes. The nine dragon spirits can die in your place, but that's fine. I'll just kill you nine times. Long Chen snorted. Just as Long A Ocean was killed, his body switched places with one of the dragons in his manifestation. His manifestation was truly heaven defying. The diagram within the manifestation vanished. However, there still remained a bud. In other words, as long as Long A Ocean was given enough time, that giant dragon would be reborn. It could be said that Long A Ocean had another kind of undying body, one even more terrifying than Jarishan's undying body. However, there was nothing in this world that truly couldn't die. Long Chen was still confident in killing him. Long Chen pounced on Long A Ocean, once more slashing his saber. In his weakened state, Long A Ocean could only block, and as a result, his body once more exploded. His body then reformed again within his manifestation, and the eight dragons in his manifestation were reduced to seven Novaloon.com CM Long Chen was like a phantom, appearing in front of Long A Ocean once more, not giving him any chance of escaping. With another slash, Long A Ocean blasted apart once more. Only six dragons remained. In just a breath's time, Long A Ocean was killed three times. People were stunned by Long A Ocean's manifestation but even more amazed by Long Chen's power. Who cared if you had nine lives? He would still cut you down one time after another. In the end, you would still die. Save me, cried out Long A Ocean. He was finally terrified. Even with nine lives, he wouldn't last much longer. Furthermore, with the death of every dragon, his power dropped. He didn't even have any ability to dodge from Long Chen's lock now. Once his nine lives were used up, he would truly die. Long Kifeng, you useless trash. Save my son. Otherwise, I'll definitely kill you. Shouted Long A Ocean's mother upon seeing her son in such a crisis. Long Kifeng was rapidly forming hand seals. But the central plane's cauldron seemed to have already escaped his control. He was sweating. Seeing his son in such desperate straits. He had no other choice but to shout. Long Chen. As long as you let off a ocean, I'll tell you where your parents are. They aren't dead. But if I don't tell you, you'll never find them in this lifetime. In the face of this bait, Long Chen seemed deaf. It was Evil Moon who responded by blasting apart Long A Ocean's body. Now that Long A Ocean only had five dragons in his manifestation, even his aura was growing unstable. Long Chen sneered. What? Does it hurt? How does it feel to have your flesh and blood slaughtered by others? When you raised your blade against me, did you think about my parents' feelings? There are always idiots like you who think themselves supreme, and so they have no respect for other people's lives. Today, I'll make you feel the pain you put my parents through. Long Chen's expression grew frightening, veins throbbing on his forehead. Suddenly, he stopped slashing his saber and slapped Long A Ocean's face instead. But in his current state, Long A Ocean was no longer a match for Long Chen, so half his face exploded. After that, Long Chen grabbed Long A Ocean's throat, and with his other hand, he pulled off Long A Ocean's arm. Long Chen's methods were specialized to make Long A Ocean endure the greatest pain possible. People need to know what respect is. In karmic retribution, Long Chen tore off Long A Ocean's other arm and then both of his legs. The current Long A Ocean seemed as weak as a chicken in Long Chen's hand now. All he could do was scream. Long Chen, release my son. I agree to any of your conditions. Shouted Long A Ocean's mother. I want the lives of everyone in your damn family. Will you give me that condition? Long Chen looked at her sinisterly and then stabbed his hand through Long A Ocean's chest. Long A Ocean let out his most twisted scream. Considering that Long A Ocean was a supreme expert who cared greatly about dignity, it could only be said that this pain was clearly not something a human could endure if it caused him to scream so wildly. Long Chen, your parents' lives are in my hands. Release my son, roared Long A Ocean's mother. Idiot, no one can lie in front of me. You really are naive, sneered Long Chen. He cultivated the nine-star hegemon body art and was extremely sensitive to other people's good or bad intentions. It wasn't so easy for someone to lie to him. After hearing this, Long Chen reached into Long A Ocean's body and crushed his vertebra one by one. Boom. Suddenly, 
Long Aotian exploded. That wasn't due to Long Chen but to escape. He reappeared again in his manifestation. However, Long Chen was already standing in front of him. A hand that caused him despair struck him in the face. As a result, Long Aotian's newly formed body instantly exploded. After being killed and reborn so many times, his aura had plummeted to the point that he couldn't even endure a slap from Long Chen. Long Chen, you little half-breed. Long Kifeng suddenly spat out a mouthful of blood that condensed into a chain around him. His aura instantly plummeted from the late heaven merging realm to the mid heaven merging realm. The central plane's cauldron shuddered and emitted a ray of light that enveloped Long Aotian. He then appeared beside Long Kifeng's side. Long Kifeng had made a huge sacrifice, causing his realm to lower in order to forcibly control the central plane's cauldron into sending Long Aotian out. Also, this sacrifice was permanent. At his age, there was no way he could restore his realm to its old height. In other words, his cultivation path had come to an end. Long Chen, I, Long Kifeng, swear that if I don't kill you, just as Long Kifeng was cursing Long Chen, the light that had sent Long Aotian out pulled back and dragged Long Kifeng into the heavenly tribulation. Long Kifeng was dumbfounded. After that, he saw Long Chen just a few feet from him for a brief moment before a large hand covered his vision. Chapter 2692 After beating the sun, beat the dad Long Chen also didn't know why Long Kifeng had suddenly come in, but with his face right there, Long Chen instinctively swung his hand. As a result, Long Kifeng was struck cleanly in the face and coughed up blood. He was like a gyroscope spinning away. He then smashed into the heavenly barrier and was flung back. His cultivation base had been suppressed to the initial heaven merging realm. What is going on? Long Kifeng stared in terror at Long Chen and then also stared in confusion at the central plane's cauldron. He had used a secret technique to reduce his own cultivation base in order to force the central plane's cauldron to send Long Aotian out. But how could he be drawn in? I didn't realize that you had some gods. You even sacrificed your own life to save your son. You're at least a bit better than an animal Long Chen stepped toward Long Kifeng, not knowing why the latter was here. But his panicked expression clearly showed that it was an accident. The current Long Kiffin was now reduced to the initial heaven merging realm. In this place, he was no threat to Long Chen. What is going on? Roared Long Kiffin with a sobbing tone. I heard that you were the number two genius of the divine families back then. Ranked only behind my father? Thank you for the pointers. Long Chen slashed Devil Moon down on him. Long Kiffin was absolutely horrified. Only upon entering the scope of this heavenly tribulation did he gain a true sense of how terrifying Long Chen was. Hence, this crushing pressure made him feel despair. Long Chen was even more terrifying than the Long's Hanshin of back then. Boom. Long Kifeng's sword shattered along with his arm. Hacking up blood, he tumbled back. As Long Chen was too powerful, the current Long Kifeng didn't even have the power to retaliate. In the same realm. He was practically an ant. At this moment, Long Kifeng formed hand seals and spat out more blood, once more condensing the same blood chains he had used to control the Central Plains Cauldron. The Central Plains Cauldron had been refined by him for many years, so he had a definite level of control over it. Using his essence blood to control it and send him out of this heavenly tribulation was his only hope of surviving. If he stayed here, his only fate would be to be killed by Long Chen. In fact, a quick death would be a dream. The Central Plains cauldron buzzed. Suddenly, a majestic voice rang out. Many thanks for the years you spent nourishing me with your essence blood. You let me recover quite a bit. The Central Plains cauldron had spoken, surprising everyone. If you want to thank me, why would you con me like this? Send me out. Long Kiffin was also startled at the Central Plains Cauldron's awakening. He had a bad feeling. I didn't con you. Although you used your essence blood to nourish me, it was also to control my slumbering self. You had your own sinister intentions, but I still owed you a debt for this. Thus, I sent your son out to return this favor. Now we owe each other nothing, said the Central Plains Cauldron indifferently. Now everyone came to a sudden understanding. So the Central Plains Cauldron had sent out Long Aotian due to karma. What nonsense. You've clearly conned me. Send me out. Roared Long Kifeng. He was green with terror. 
Long Chen was walking toward him. Sorry, but I'm not the one who brought you in here. You were brought in by the heavenly tribulation due to interfering in the karma of the tribulation. It has nothing to do with me, said the Central Plains Cauldron. Bastard. Long Kiffin cursed. At this moment, more and more blood chains condensed and streamed toward the Central Plains Cauldron. He was sacrificing a huge amount of essence blood to control it. The heavenly divine blood curse truly is powerful. But when I find a new master, this blood curse will be useless. The Central Plains Cauldron suddenly emitted a ray of light that swept through Yan Tian and the others, as if it was appraising them. You want to choose a master? Am I not the best option? Let us work together. Mo Nian immediately jumped forward. Light swept through Mo Nian. But the Central Plains Cauldron hesitatingly said, Your character isn't steady enough, and you look a bit wretched. Senior, senior, let us discuss this. My character can be changed. As for looks, my parents passed those on to me so I can't change them. I'll wear a mask. What kind of character do you want? What kind of mask should I wear? Senior, take a look. We clearly have a destiny. Truly, Mo Nian went on a long rant. Just how glorious would it be to be the master of one of the five supreme divine items? Fine. I don't have the time to find someone better. I'll accept you. But let me first say, if we don't mesh well, I'll choose someone else, said the Central Plains Cauldron helplessly. Perhaps Mo Nian wasn't the one it wanted, but it needed to escape Long Kifeng's heavenly divine blood curse. Hence, with no better choices, it accepted Mo Nian. The Central Plains Cauldron focused its light on Mo Nian. As a result, Mo Nian's clothes exploded, and his flesh was left a bloody mess. It was like countless maggots were burrowing into his body. The pain twisted his face, but he endured it without saying a word. Due to having seen Wild accepting the Western Desert Axe, Mo Nian was mentally prepared for this. Moreover, in order to show off how heroic he was, he didn't even frown. Not bad. You're pretty tough. The Central Plains Cauldron was satisfied with this reaction. Long Kiffin panicked. Those maggots were actually the heavenly divine blood curse. The Central Plains Cauldron had transmitted it to Mo Nian. This curse was only for use against divine items. On the body of a human, other than causing some pain, it didn't have any threat. Long Kiffin's hand seals changed. But just at that moment, a hand slapped him across the face sending him flying back. After that, his arms were severed with a slash of Long Chen's saber. This way, he wouldn't be able to interrupt this process. A thought finally arose in Long Kifeng's heart. It's over. Long Chen grabbed his throat and raised him up. Speak. Where are my parents? Chapter 2693 Karmic flames incinerate the Yuan spirit Long Kifeng was caught in Long Chen's hand. The Divine Family's experts especially those belonging to the Long family, all had ugly expressions. Only Elder Long, hidden amongst the crowd, still had a calm expression. He looked at Long Kifeng's terror with a touch of disdain. Long Aotian was ashen. Heavenly Dao energy circulated as he did his best to recover as fast as possible. However, he didn't say a word even though his father was in Long Chen's hands. As for his mother, she didn't even glance at Long Kifeng. She had her hands on Long Aotian's back and was helping him recover. It seemed that she only cared about her son and not her husband. Killing intent raged in Long Chen's eyes. He wanted to crush Long Kifeng right now, but that would be letting him off too lightly. This bastard had split up his family. Now it was unknown where his parents were, or if they were even still alive. In comparison, Long Chen was much more fortunate. Although his spirit root, spirit bone, and spirit blood were taken. At least he didn't remember that occurring. That pain was forgotten. By the time he started to form memories, he was blessed and already brought up by his adoptive parents. Mrs. Long had given all her motherly love to him, viewing him as more important than her own life. However, what about his biological parents? They had lost their son after learning that his spirit root, spirit bone, and spirit blood were excavated. Perhaps they were tormented with every passing day. As he thought of that, the vein on his forehead almost popped. He almost clenched Long Kifeng to death. Unless you swear, to release me after I tell you. I, Long Kifeng still continued with his final struggle despite knowing that he was definitely dead. As a result, 
Evil Moon stabbed through his chest. Following that, countless hooks grew out of Evil Moon and pierced throughout his body. A.H.H. Long Kiffin screamed. This was a torture from the dark evil dragon race. Even Evil Moon couldn't bear it and helped Long Chen. If you want to know, you have to release me. Otherwise, you will never find your parents. Ah, Long Kiffin managed to spit out some final words before continuing to scream. At this moment, blood was pouring out of his orifices, and even his eyes popped out. It was as if he had already exploded. Long Chen, if you're a man, then come at me, roared Long Aotian from outside the heavenly tribulation. Cowardly trash, if you have the gods, come into the heavenly tribulation and save your father. Don't bray like a donkey, sneered Guo Ran. Long Aotian's act was far too fake. Even now, he acted like he was filled with righteous indignation for others to see. Shut up, cursed Long Aotian. Guo Ran's words had struck him right where it hurt. Although he had been pulled out of the heavenly tribulation, lightning still flickered around him. His heavenly tribulation hadn't come to an end. Others couldn't enter the heavenly tribulation, but he could because his tribulation wasn't over. Now that his act was exposed, countless people sneered at him. Your father's going to be killed and you're just going to watch. His father? Maybe not. Look at that woman's expression. It's clear that he isn't someone so important. What a good family. They must have been drawn together by fate. How else could there be a family of such complete trash? Long Chen was a truly unrivaled hero who had risked his life countless times for those he cared about. In comparison, Long Aotian simply wailed while his father's life was in someone else's hands. That hypocritical shouting was truly contemptuous. He wasn't even a man. Although Long Aotian was powerful, his character was trash. This was many people's first time seeing such trash in their lifetime. Disgusting them. Their impression of the divine families also changed. If you don't swear, I won't speak. I have a heavenly Tao seal on my soul. Don't even think about gaining the information from my soul. Long Kiffin was no longer able to speak and could only communicate spiritually. This was his last hope. You bastard. You split up my family for so many years. Yet you think you can live after making us endure all that pain? I was thinking of giving you a quick death if you spoke the truth. But you've really disappointed me. Long Chen suddenly stabbed his finger through Long Kiffin's forehead. Digging out a three-inch miniature version of him. That was his Yuan spirit. Long Kiffin's physical body was being controlled. He could have destroyed his physical body and escaped with his Yuan spirit in that case. But he hadn't done so. That was because this was within the heavenly tribulation. A Yuan spirit was even weaker than a physical body and wouldn't be able to break out of the barrier of the heavenly tribulation. Long Kiffin howled. Long Chen. You unfilial trash. You don't even want news about your parents. Are you a brood? Do you want to bear the name of such disgrace for the rest of your life? However, Long Kiffin's body exploded with a kick from Long Chen. Flames burst into existence within Long Chen's hand, wrapping around Long Kiffin's Yuan spirit. A.H.H. Long Kiffin let out a miserable scream, and it was hair-raising like a devil's wail. These flames came from purgatory. They're karmic hell flames. I've heard that all the evil that you've done to people will come to burn you. The more evil you've done the more painful it will be. Let's see if that's true, said Long Chen indifferently. Karmic flames reached deep into a person's soul. The more bad things that someone had done, the more terror they would feel in front of these flames. That terror would then become fuel for the karmic flames to burn even hotter. However, Len Yuian had also warned him about this effect. He could use these flames against enemies, but he couldn't use them to force out the truth, or it would invoke karma. Yet. Long Chen didn't care about this warning when it came to Long Kifeng. He wanted to see the latter in pain. He wanted him to taste the price for his sins. Release me, release me. I'll tell you. Long Kifeng finally couldn't endure it any longer. Your mother has a huge background. We couldn't touch her. So we sent her away. Your father committed grave sins. But due to his outstanding talent, he was sent to the divine world to be imprisoned. Neither of them died. A.H.H. Release me. I can't hold on any longer. Bullshit. The Martial Heaven Continent has been cut off from the Divine World. How could they still be sent over? Demanded Long Chen. The Divine Families are the Martial Heaven Continents. 
protectors. We have the prerogative to. Ahh suddenly, Long Chen was startled, and he hastily dispersed the flames. But it was too late. Long Kifeng's Yuan spirit had been fully incinerated. Chapter 2694 The Laws of Hell He died. Long Chen was dumbfounded, not expecting the karmic hell flames to kill Long Kifeng. He hadn't added any power to it, but Long Kifeng still died. Moreover, the instant Long Kifeng died, Long Chen's soul was racked with pain. It was as if he was burning. His Yuan spirit quivered. The backlash of the karmic flames. Long Chen was confused. This isn't a backlash but karma. You used the laws of the underworld. So your karma has been recorded. Be careful. With this karma planted, it will one day be reaped. Be prepared. Said Evil Moon. Long Chen had a vague, very bad feeling about this. It was as if something had set its gaze on him. Long Kifeng's Yuan spirit had vanished. This behemoth of the divine families died just like that. With his death, Long Chen's resentment finally had a slight release. At least, one ringleader had paid the price for that matter back then. But this was just a start. At this moment, Long Chen turned to Yi Liangchen and Jiang Wachen. The two of them instantly turned pale. Despite all the fighting Long Chen had done, he still remained sharp. It was as if he was in his peak condition, as if his power was limitless. When he looked at them, they shivered in terror. They knew they weren't Long Aotian. There was also no one to control the Central Plains Cauldron and save them. You should thank her. Otherwise, you too would be following Long Kifeng, said Long Chen coldly. They truly had benefited from Feng Fei. By stopping the two of them, she had saved their lives. Long Chen couldn't find a good reason to kill them although he truly disliked them. Feng Fei looked at Long Chen with a somewhat complicated expression. She firmly said, Long Chen, I didn't do this to help you. It was merely to protect the Divine Family's dignity. The Divine Families are most likely fated to be enemies with you. So let me make this clear to you. Even if you let us off this time, I will still take your life without hesitation next time. I won't have mercy. Feng Fei was surprisingly tough. When Long Chen was in trouble, she didn't add to it. Now that Long Chen's power soared, she didn't try currying favor. A favor for a favor. Although you're foolish, at least you're better than the other four trashes. At least you know the difference between gratitude and enmity. I won't kill them to return this favor to you. So we owe each other nothing. If we are enemies in the future, no one will have mercy on the other, said Long Chen. Hearing that Long Chen wasn't going to kill them, Yi Liangchen and Jiang Wachen relaxed. A heavy stone fell from their hearts. However, they still acted furious, clearly in an attempt to cover up their fear. Feng Fei withdrew to the edge of the heavenly barrier, expressing that she wouldn't disturb Long Chen. Yi Liangchen and Jiang Wachen followed her. The Yi and Zhao family heads also sighed with relief. Yi Liangchen and Jiang Wachen had essentially regained control of their lives. Long Chen was simply too terrifying. Long Aotian was already so incredibly powerful, but he had still been defeated by Long Chen. Long Chen was simply the strongest monster. Boom Novaloon.com boom. Suddenly, the void exploded. The three-eyed ghost mastiff that Hu Feng had summoned transformed into runes. It didn't have a true body of flesh and blood. At this moment, the dragon woman looked at Long Chen and then fled into the sea. Long Chen slashed his saber, sealing her path. In return, the dragon woman swung her dragon bone whip, only for it to be severed by Evil Moon. The scales covering her body exploded. You wanted to take my karmic luck, so I'm sure you were prepared to be killed in exchange Long Chen shot down after her. He was surprised that Hu Feng had been able to fight her for so long and had also weakened her a great deal. Since her aura was clearly no longer at its peak, that three-eyed ghost mastiff he had summoned must have been extremely powerful. You want to kill me? Keep dreaming, sneered the dragon woman. She had a cold smile despite being covered in blood. Her blood suddenly began to glow, and a giant golden circle appeared behind her. The entire martial heaven sea ring shuddered. The aura of the heaven devastating bracelet. Could it be? Long Chen was startled. Was that demon emperor not the true controller of the heaven devastating bracelet? It was this dragon woman? As if responding to his guess, the martial heaven sea ring shuddered. Divine light shot out from the depths of the sea. 
Long Chen's expression changed. He hastily swung Evil Moon, only to strike nothing. The dragon woman's figure became illusory. I am the inheritor of the Heaven Devastating Bracelet. As long as the Heaven Devastating Bracelet is not destroyed, I cannot die. You will never be able to kill me, sneered the dragon woman as she vanished. The inheritor of the Heaven Devastating Bracelet? Everyone's expressions changed. Was this to say that she could control the Heaven Devastating Bracelet? It had to be known that back then, the five supreme divine items had joined forces to fight the Heaven Devastating Bracelet. In the end, both sides were wounded. The Heaven Devastating Bracelet fell, smashing into the continent and creating the Martial Heaven Sea Ring. The leader of the five supreme divine items, the Eastern Wasteland Bell, was fractured and its whereabouts were unknown. The other four divine items were also badly wounded and had yet to recover even to this day. If the dragon woman could awaken the heaven devastating bracelet, then considering that the eastern wasteland bell had yet to reappear, how could they face the heaven devastating bracelet? Everyone looked down into the sea and could see golden light rising from down below. It was as if they could see the heaven devastating bracelet pulsing. All of a sudden, the void shuddered. Looking back up, they saw that the central plains cauldron had vanished. Could it be? Ha ha ha. Mo Nian raised his head and laughed. I, Mo Nian, am now the master of the Central Plains Cauldron. Little newbies, go ahead and cry beneath your daddy Mo's feet. He succeeded the Dragonblood warriors were delighted by this. The Western Desert Axe had taken Wild as master, and now the Central Plains Cauldron was Mo Nian's. Meanwhile, the Southern Sea Zither was in Zi Yan's hands, and the Northern Source Sword belonged to Yi's Hikyu. Now four of the five supreme divine items were in their hands. If all four of them could master these divine items, then even without the eastern wasteland bell, they should have some ability to fight off the heaven devastating bracelet. Right now, the heaviness from the appearance of the heaven devastating bracelet was instantly relieved upon thinking of how four of the supreme divine items were right beside them. Boom. At this moment, the heavenly barrier shuddered and balls of light appeared. Mo Nian and the others were suddenly sent outside of the barrier. This is, Mo Nian and the others were startled. Even the Pill Fairy and Wan Qing were sent out. Now all that remained within the barrier of the Heavenly Tribulation were the Five Sovereigns and Long Chen. Chapter 2695 Fighting the Sovereigns has the time come. Long Chen looked at the Sovereigns. Sovereign Yun Chang nodded. It's much faster than what I anticipated. Furthermore. The scene that my heavenly fate eyes foresaw hasn't appeared. Everything has changed, becoming out of control. When my heavenly fate eyes look into your past, I see mist. When I look to your future, I see chaos. We can no longer do much for you. This short revival due to your heavenly tribulation has allowed us to complete our life's mission. So what comes next is up to you. I, Long Chen. I'm willing to fight to the last drop of blood for my family Long Chen patted his chest. He knew what Sovereign Yun Chang was saying. The latter was entrusting the life of the Martial Heaven Continent to him. However, Long Chen was no sovereign. He didn't have the heart to care about those who didn't believe in him or those who were his enemies. Those people's life and death had nothing to do with him. Sovereign Yun Chang seemed to understand this, but he didn't say anything about it. With his white robes billowing. He appeared noble and majestic. Time is up. We are going to attack. Are you prepared? Long Chen didn't even have a chance to reply before Evil Moon howled. Yun Shang, you bastard. Come, I'll kill you this time. Evil Moon had always had a grudge against Yun Shang. One moment's carelessness had resulted in its current state. Sovereign Yun Shang smiled. That's impossible. We are already dead. However, do you really hate me so much? If it weren't for me, you would still be alone. Shut up. You really say too much. Come, Long Chen and I will defeat you today. No, we'll defeat all five of you. Come, I'll slay five sovereigns today, shouted Evil Moon. Hey, can you not brag so much? If we're beaten like dogs in a bit, will your face not hurt? Transmitted Long Chen to Evil Moon. Evil Moon was truly arrogant, to the point that even Long Chen got worried. He didn't know where Evil Moon got this confidence. Long Chen almost told Evil Moon to go fight Yun Shang on its own. Coward. What are you afraid of? They're in the same realm as you. 
If you can't even beat them, how will you ascend to a higher plane to find your parents replied Evil Moon disdainfully. All right, perhaps you're right. Long Chen nodded and took a deep breath. The five sovereigns represented the peak of the martial path in their eras. As long as he defeated them, he would stand at the utmost peak. At this moment, Long Chen thought back to the mysterious person that had brought him to the eastern wastelands as a baby and entrusted him to Long Shiang Xiao. That person had left a warning not to look for his parents unless he stood at the peak of the martial path. That mysterious person had even transformed himself into the Tao in order to sever all karma, making it impossible for anyone to track Long Chen down. He had sacrificed his very life to protect him. Thinking of that, Long Chen understood that perhaps only by becoming a sovereign would he be qualified to look for his parents. With Evil Moon's reminder, he understood what it meant to stand at the peak of the martial path. Right now, he only knew of the existence of his parents. The path to look for them would be filled with thorns. Perhaps it really was as Evil Moon said, and that without defeating the sovereigns, it would be impossible to find them. After thinking of that, Long Chen's resolve strengthened. His black robes blew in the windless air, and a sharp aura began to rise. When the six stars in his divine ring flashed, a pillar of light soared into the sky. Even at this time, Long Chen is still in his peak state? Is he a demon? People were stunned to find that Long Chen's aura was still at its peak. Actually, it was even more explosive than at the start of the battle. His power seemed to be limitless. Amongst the divine families, Long Aotian was rapidly recovering. His manifestation had been restored to seven dragons, which was shocking. If given another hour, his manifestation would be fully recovered and he would be in his peak state. That was the terror of the nine dragons devour the heavens diagram. His manifestation rapidly devoured heavenly Tao energy and gave him an undying body. However, that was in theory. In truth, if he wanted to fully activate his manifestation, he had to use the combined power of his spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone. However, his spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone were not fully his. There were some flaws with controlling them, resulting in a certain essence being consumed. This essence was rapidly depleted in a big fight. If too much of this essence was depleted, it would affect the merger of his energy and cause his manifestation to become unstable. That was a large flaw. Seeing Long Chen still in his peak condition even after such intense battles, Long Aotian was filled with jealousy. He viewed himself as the greatest genius. Even though he associated himself with Yi Liangchen and the others, he had never viewed them as real equals. He had always concealed himself to make sure that he didn't expose his power. He had originally thought that today, his fame would finally soar and he would shake the world beneath the heavens. However, he was defeated by Long Chen's hands. Furthermore, this was a miserable defeat after he had taken Long Chen's spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone. It was like Long Chen was a mirror reflecting all his flaws and shortcomings, and then those flaws were magnified and shown to everyone. Compared to Long Chen, all his so-called pride was worthless. This defeat was truly a heavy one for him. Just as Long Aotian was being driven crazy with jealousy, the Dragonblood warriors were cheering crazily in support of Long Chen. Boss will win. Boss will win. Boss will win. Following their cheers, the Martial Heaven Continent's experts began to shout as well. Long Chen will definitely win. The shouts of millions and millions of experts resounded through the air. The gates to the various worlds had been opened, and wars were going to crash upon them. Long Chen was the only hope for the Martial Heaven continent. Under this unprecedented pressure, everyone hoped for him to be able to defeat the five sovereigns and become history's strongest sovereign. Only then could he possibly let everyone to victory against the powerful enemies coming. Only then could they overcome the upcoming crisis. Long Chen's blood began to heat up as those cheers and encouragement rang in his ears. Facing the sovereigns, he didn't feel any fear, only a powerful battle intent. Sorry for the rudeness, Long Chen bowed slightly toward Sovereign Yun Shang, and then Evil Moon unleashed a heaven-shaking cry as it slashed downward. A black river of stars fell, cutting the world in two. Chapter 2696 Sovereign's Divine Might Yun Shang Taste my blade. Black Chi swirled around Evil Moon, and a two-headed dragon roared within Long Chen's divine ring. At this moment, 
A sinister aura infected the heavens. Boom. Long Chen's furious blow suddenly came to a stop, as Sovereign Yun Shang clapped his hands before him, catching Long Chen's blade in his hands. Divine runes buzzed, contending against the Black Chi. The stars of the heavens quivered as berserk energies clashed. Calm of the ones who had been crazily cheering Long Chen instantly fell silent, as if their voices had been severed by a blade. They stared in shock at Sovereign Yun Shang. Sovereign Yun Shang had silently and effortlessly caught Long Chen's world-shaking saber. It was as easy as raising a hand. Just how strong is a sovereign? Long Chen has already reached such a terrifying level, but he still can't compare. People felt like they had gone crazy. Although it was said that sovereigns stood at the peak of the martial path, Long Chen's current power was absolutely terrifying and had exceeded their imaginations. However, Sovereign Yun Shang had caught this attack barehanded. Was the difference between the two really so great? Unleash your full power. Don't hold back any longer, or you will die to our hands. The Heavenly Deos want you dead, and we are replicated by the Heavenly Deos. If you can't last, you will die. We can't help you pass this tribulation. We're already dead, said Sovereign Yun Shang. Many thanks for your advice. Also, thank you for giving me Evil Moon but I am unable to return the favor. All I can do is fight with my full power. A furious battle intent soared out of Long Chen. His six stars began to revolve, causing his 108,000 astral spaces to resonate. All his power ignited together with Evil Moon's power. Heaven's Wrath. This was the true Heaven's Wrath. Long Chen and Evil Moon entered this state together. They no longer gave any dams. Boom. Sovereign Yun Shang was no longer able to keep hold of Evil Moon. It blasted away his hands, forcing him back several steps. Sovereign Yun Shang's eyes glowed. He nodded. Yes, this is the only way that you have a chance of surviving. As his hands entwined, the void twisted along with them. After that, a ray of light spun through the air at Long Chen. The laws of the heavenly Deos had been compressed to the pinnacle. As a result, an ear-piercing sound caused the expert's eardrums to feel like they would explode. There were no hand seals or spiritual fluctuations. This terrifying attack came without any omen. Boom. Without even thinking about it, Long Chen slashed Evil Moon at the light. The light was then forced to the side, flying past him and striking the heavenly barrier. It instantly pierced through the barrier and passed just below people's feet. Just feeling it pass made them feel like there was a sour feeling throughout their entire body, and some people almost fell from the sky. A bit closer and they would be turned into nothingness. Boom. The light pierced through the martial heaven sea ring, leaving a giant channel in its wake. It reached the bottom of the sea and then caused the earth to explode, revealing golden light. The sea was blasted away, and it seemed that some kind of terrifying law was freezing spastime preventing the water from returning. Through that hole, people could clearly see that golden body. Audible gulps were heard. The heaven-devastating bracelet. That golden light hadn't been quite clear before, but Sovereign Yun Shang's attack allowed them to see it clearly. That piece of gold was the tip of the iceberg of the heaven-devastating bracelet. They could feel its terror. Just as everyone was looking toward the heaven-devastating bracelet, Long Chen was already attacking Sovereign Yun Shang. At the same time, Sovereign Yun Shang smashed a fist onto Evil Moon, causing a huge explosion that shook the heavens. After blocking Evil Moon with one fist, Sovereign Yun Shang's other hand slashed toward Long Chen's neck like a sword. Long Chen received it with his shoulder, turning it into a bloody mess. Long Chen was injured. Heavens, just how terrifying are the sovereigns? How can he possibly pass like this? In just the second exchange, Long Chen was injured. How was he supposed to fight like this? Just as Long Chen's shoulder was injured, a lightning spear appeared in his left hand and stabbed through Sovereign Yun Shang's ribs. The latter was sent flying, exchanging injury for injury. Long Chen had exchanged the wound to his shoulder to guarantee a strike. However, people didn't even have a chance to react before their expressions changed. The wound in Sovereign Yun Shang's body wasn't bleeding. They only saw lightning runes flickering within his body and then those lightning runes reformed his body and even his white robes. There was no sign of any injury. There's no way. This made people feel despair. The sovereigns were already undefeatable existences, and now they even had undying bodies in this tribulation. 
as well as limitless power, they would never die. How could this tribulation be passed? However, Long Chen wasn't dissuaded. It was as if everything was within his expectations. With Evil Moon in hand, he once more attacked Sovereign Yan Shang. Sovereign Yan Shang formed hand seals for the first time. At the same time, the nine heavens changed color, and the stars in the sky quivered. After that, heavenly pillars appeared, shooting toward Long Chen like celestial spears. The giant pillars fell limitlessly, trapping Long Chen within them. Their astral runes contained endless wild auras. Long Chen roared and slashed Evil Moon. Split the heavens eight. He used the eighth form of split the heavens in a circular arc. He could tell that this was a giant trapping formation. As a result, his saber image slashed through the pillars, shattering them. With the heavens wrath activated to its peak state, the eighth form of split the heavens unleashed unprecedented power. Shockingly, when the pillars shattered, they didn't dissipate into runes. Instead, they became giant stones that shot out in every direction. Those stones pierced through the heavenly barrier, turning it into a sieve. They then continued toward the crowd, causing panic. Block them. People immediately began to attack those rocks. They were too concentrated to dodge. Everyone, don't panic. As long as you mouth the name of Sovereign Mo Nian, I guarantee that you will be safe. A bronze cauldron appeared, unleashing rays of divine light that blasted apart those stones. Chapter 2697 Fighting all five sovereigns Mo Nian stunned everyone with this action. He was actually already capable of unleashing the power of the Central Plains Cauldron. The Central Plains Cauldron revolved above his head, while he held the heaven-seizing sun hunting bow in his hand. Basking in countless gazes of shock and worship, he felt like he had reached the pinnacle of his life. Bang! Ayamo Nyan suddenly let out a painful cry. The Central Plains Cauldron had suddenly descended and smacked him in the head, leaving a large bump. Bastard! Who told you to use my power? I'm still not recovered. Using my power will increase the time required to recover. Understand? If you mess around again, I'll turn you into a cripple and find someone else. Cursed the Central Plains Cauldron. Ah, I thought that you were asleep for so long that people had started to forget your mighty name. Hence, I wanted to give them a show of your power to announce your return and showcase the might of the Martial Heaven Continent said Mo Nian fawningly as he painfully rubbed the bump on his head. Stop talking nonsense. You like showing off. So do it yourself. Don't mess around with my power. Otherwise, don't blame me for becoming hostile. Ending up with such a master really is my bad luck. The Central Plains Cauldron didn't fall for Mo Nian's fawning. It was still angry that he had used it without asking first. Suddenly, startled cries rang out. After that, the sky turned dark, and a sharp whistling sound pierced their ears. A giant object descended from the sky. Is that a star? Shocked cries rang out. A giant sphere was falling with a long tail trailing it, and bright sparks flew out of it. This attack came just as Long Chen exchanged blows with Sovereign Yun Shang. Just as they both retreated from this exchange, Long Chen was struck by the star as if he had voluntarily flown into it. Everything had been calculated perfectly. Boom. Saber light flashed, and that giant star was split in two. It then fell into the martial heaven sea ring. However, it was like red hot steel had been tossed into ice water. The water immediately began boiling and sizzling. One slash sliced apart a star, causing everyone to stare in shock at Long Chen. He was already charging back at Sovereign Yun Shang. Be careful. We're also going to attack. Sovereign Ching Su's voice rang out and he unleashed a palm. In that instant, his figure vanished. Long Chen had just exchanged blows with Yun Shang, and now his fist blocked Ching Su's palm. As a result, the scales covering his fist shattered and blood splashed out. As for Ching Shu, his palm was destroyed. Little brother, these are the laws of the heavenly deos. Don't blame us for bullying you with numbers. Mo Li laughed and also attacked, slashing his sword through the void. Junior brother, watch out. Big sister is also coming. Han Wei flicked her finger, and a thin zither string appeared in the void, slicing toward Long Chen. At this moment, Zi Yang also attacked, unleashing a wave of violet chi that filled the sky. After that, Drake swirled within the chi, resonating with heaven and earth. All five sovereigns were attacking at once. 
With a simple wave of their hands, the heavens collapsed and the earth was torn asunder. Space was twisted too wildly for the people to even see Long Chen's figure. Boom. Long Chen's figure suddenly appeared. He was flying back, and his chest had been pierced. Boom. Long Chen had only just blocked Mo Li's silent sword when a violet palm struck his back. Hence, the sound of bones breaking rang out, and Long Chen smashed into the twisting space once more, vanishing from sight. Boss, Guo Ran cried out. Although he usually had blind faith in Long Chen, the latter was now facing five sovereigns. Just how was Long Chen supposed to beat them? Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan'er, Yi Zhikyu, Dong Mingyu, and the others were all worried. This heavenly tribulation was a tribulation of sure death without the slightest chance of passing. The sovereigns that had called Long Chen brother had now become hostile, unleashing killing blow after killing blow. They didn't show any mercy. Boom. With another explosion, Long Chen's figure reappeared. This time, his condition was even worse. The dragon scales covering his body had been shattered, and there were many places where they could see bone and even his insides. Long Chen. Tears welled out of Meng Qi's eyes. Seeing him fight for his life, she felt like blades were stabbing her heart. Long Chen stamped on the air, narrowly avoiding Han Wei's zither string. After that, he suddenly slashed Devil Moon behind him. The space behind him twisted, and a palm came out. It exploded on contact with Evil Moon, revealing Yun Shang. Even though Long Chen was covered in blood, he continued to be overflowing with battle intent, and he attacked Yun Shang. Long Chen, Sovereign Yun Shang is the first generation and also the strongest sovereign. If you want to survive this, you should first target Sovereign Zi Yang. He is the weakest in comparison, warned Yun Tian as he watched from outside the heavenly tribulation. As Sovereign Yun Shang's son, Yun Tian naturally knew more about him. Long Chen was surrounded by the five sovereigns, but he was still crazily attacking Yun Shang. That was the worst strategy. Although Long Chen's injuries were rapidly healed by the primal chaos space, if this continued, he would be the one to die in the end. The correct method would be to think of some way to defeat the weakest sovereign, Zi Yang. Only then would he have some chance of victory. However, Long Chen didn't change tactics. He continued to go all out against Yun Shang, while still dealing with the attacks of the other four sovereigns. Suddenly, Long Chen flew back and coughed up three mouthfuls of blood. As his chest was pierced by Zi Yang's sword, he hastily drew out the energy of the heavenly Killin Demon Trees to recover. After that, with a slash of his saber, he blocked Ching Su's attack and then once more charged back at Yun Shang. Has boss been influenced by Evil Moon? Did he want vengeance on sovereign Yun Shang? Xia Chen was pale. Even Yun Tian had warned him, but Long Chen was still focused on Yun Shang. If this continued, he really would be doomed. Everyone had noticed that his aura was starting to drop after being injured repeatedly. Against all five sovereigns. Long Chen had lasted half an incense stick's worth of time, and that was already an incomparably amazing achievement. It could be said that no one had ever done this in the past, nor would there ever be someone to do this in the future. However, Long Chen would still be the one to perish if this went on. Long Chen, Yun Tian suddenly began to form hand seals. His voice resonated with heaven and earth. Backing out midway isn't my style. If I can't beat big brother Yun Shang. I'm not qualified to look for my parents. I must win. Yun Tian had barely spoken when Long Chen's hoarse yet determined voice shook the sky. At this moment, Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Guo Ran, and the others' expressions changed. Long Chen was actually viewing Sovereign Yun Shang as a goal for himself to search for his parents. Right now, he only had two paths before him. Defeat Yun Shang or die. Chapter 2698 Heaven Shaking Saw Bear Long Chen crazily assaulted Yun Shang, but the other four sovereigns' attacks also left him bloody. Every single attack possessed apocalyptic power, and parts of his body were repeatedly blown apart. However, Long Chen was still fearless. The heavenly Killin Demon Trees in the primal chaos space provided him with a huge amount of life energy. Unfortunately, all the damage was adding up, so their leaves were starting to turn yellow. Long Chen, you can't be this rash. Use some strategy. I feel like Yun Shian's words are correct. Transmitted Evil Moon. In the beginning, 
Evil Moon truly had wished to target Yan Shang due to its hatred. Hence, the fact that Long Chen would target Yan Shang first made it very happy. However, when the five sovereigns all joined hands, it became extremely taxing to fight them all this way. If this continued, they would really be in danger of being killed. No, today, I must defeat Sovereign Yan Shang. This is a threshold that I must cross, said Long Chen directly. What damn threshold? If it was a one against one, you definitely could suppress him. So you've already won, exclaimed Evil Moon angrily. This stubbornness of his was truly vexing sometimes. Sovereign Yan Shang doesn't have a physical body. As an imitation created by the heavenly Deos, his power doesn't match his real body. Furthermore, I now have your help. That means it's basically a two against one. If I can't beat him with these conditions, how am I supposed to walk my path in the future? Said Long Chen. Evil Moon was speechless. Long Chen's words were correct. These imitations of the sovereigns were definitely not as strong as their true bodies back in the day. But they were still five sovereigns. Who could beat them? Furthermore, Evil Moon had been refined into a weapon and no longer had access to many of the dark evil dragon race's divine abilities. Now isn't the time to show off. Your life is more important. You'll definitely die like this, persuaded Evil Moon. Long Chen narrowly avoided Ching Su's attack but was struck by a zither string, which left a bloody line on his back. That thin line shattered his bones. With a painful grunt, Long Chen swung Evil Moon blocking Mo Li's sword. He rapidly healed his wounds and once more charged at Yan Shang. You melon-headed donkey. You really will die like this. Raged Evil Moon in a panic. There was no medicine for this idiocy. Don't get mad at me. Do you think that I want this? There's no other option. Cursed Long Chen angrily. What asked Evil Moon? I. I can't do anything about it. This is the will of the nine-star hegemon body art. It refuses to allow me to retreat. Raged Long Chen. Treating Yan Shang as a threshold? Retreating midway wasn't his style? That was bullshit. When the five sovereigns attacked together, the pill sovereign's will, which had been dormant for a long time, suddenly burst out, forcing Long Chen to target the strongest sovereign, Yan Shang. He didn't know if this was caused by him forcibly changing the latter path of the nine star hegemon body art, but when the pill sovereign's will reappeared, he couldn't refuse it. Furthermore, with the Pill Sovereign's memories merged with his own, it was difficult for him to tell what was his own will and what was the Pill Sovereign's will. Long Chen didn't think that he was such a foolish person as to seek death in such a scenario. Thus, he deduced that this will had come from the Pill Sovereign. Long Chen was capable of strategy, of following Yan Shian's words and killing Zi Yang first, leaving more openings for fighting the remaining four sovereigns. However, once he betrayed this will, his own undefeatable Deo heart would crumble. It would be a crumbling of his own faith in himself. And that was a fatal blow to an expert. Long Chen had bitterly kept this to himself. But Evil Moon's pressing caused him to spit out this bitterness. That's such a scam. Evil Moon was also dumbfounded. What kind of cultivation technique was so domineering that it forced someone to die? Evil Moon, prepare yourself. After ten breaths. I will unleash my full power. Victory or defeat will be decided at that moment. As long as we beat Sovereign Yan Shang, everything else is basically settled. Transmitted Long Chen. Lightning runes were circulating within Long Chen's bones, a place that no one could see. All the attacks he received were being absorbed into those lightning runes. After Li Linger had taken human form, Long Chen didn't summon her to fight the sovereigns. Instead, he had her absorb their power within his body. The sovereigns were manifestations of lightning, not true physical bodies. Hence, their attacks contained thunder force, and Li Linger was rapidly absorbing it all. Finally, Long Chen took a deep breath. After that, lightning wings spread on his back, growing larger and larger. Ching Shu, Mo Li, Han Wei, and Zi Yang were struck by the wings at the same time. The four sovereigns were sent flying as Long Chen seemed to suddenly transform into a god of lightning. As lightning raged around him, he slashed Evil Moon at Yan Shang, split the heavens nine. His cry was like the roar of a celestial god, shaking the nine heavens. A saber image tore into the sky, unleashing endless black mist and lightning runes. The saber fell, 
shaking the world. This was an attack containing Long Chen's entire heart and spirit. This was the attack he had wagered his life and death on. Yun Chang smiled. This is the most marvelous attack I've ever seen in my life. It cannot be blocked. Long Chen, I entrust the martial heaven continent to you. Boom. The saber mercilessly slashed down, blasting apart Yun Chang's body. He then transformed into divine runes that vanished into the void. Success. The dragon blood warriors cheered, while Meng Chi and the others wept from joy. Just as they were overwhelmed with joy, sword light pierced through the void. Long Chen hastily dodged but was still struck in the shoulder. A piece of his flesh was cut off. The heavenly tribulation had not ended. Sovereign Yun Chang was gone, but the other four sovereigns remained. Now when looking at Long Chen, everyone's hearts clenched. In the heaven's wrath state, Long Chen had used the ninth form of split the heavens. So his aura was plummeting, becoming extremely weak. It seemed that this attack had used up the majority of his energy. A zither string slashed through the air, slicing the void in two. Long Chen hastily blocked it and ended up coughing up blood. Now what? Boss is out of energy. Guo Ran and the others began to panic. Long Chen had paid a grave price to kill Sovereign Yun Shang. Using Li Linger to absorb the Sovereign's power, he had suddenly unleashed a blow to force the four of them back, giving him a hard-won opportunity. However, even though Sovereign Yun Shang was gone, the other four sovereigns were even more dangerous to face in Long Chen's current state. Big sister, do you really want to kill me? Long Chen suddenly smiled at the attacking Han Wei, who had an unwilling expression. However, her hand still moved, unleashing a zither string at Long Chen. He, since big sister is being so vicious, don't blame little brother for cheating lightning domain. Open, suddenly. The void behind Long Chen exploded and a gigantic channel appeared. On the other side was a world of wild lightning. Chapter 2699 Success Inside the passage to the lightning domain was opened by Li Linger. Millions of lightning dragons flew out, and amongst them were nine multicolored dragons that were particularly conspicuous. As soon as they appeared, a terrifying pressure crashed down upon the world. Their auras caused heaven-merging experts to tremble. Last time, Long Chen had sent a sea's worth of divine lightning into the lightning domain, causing it to transform. The dragon kings had all entered slumbered and begun a metamorphosis. That was why despite facing so many terrifying enemies, Long Chen had never unleashed the dragons of the lightning domain since then. They had been in the midst of the transformation. It was only last month that when he checked on the lightning domain, he saw that the dragon kings had awoken. Furthermore, they all managed to advance. At this moment, the spatial channel quivered and golden light dazzled everyone's eyes. From within the lightning, a giant golden dragon appeared. The king of the lightning domain had advanced to be a dragon emperor. Its entire body was now covered in scales that looked to be made out of immortal gold. Boss, in front of everyone's shocked gazes, the dragon emperor lowered its head to Long Chen. This terrifying existence was calling Long Chen boss. What they didn't know was that the Dragon Emperor's transformation this time had caused it to be completely loyal to Long Chen. Although it was a spirit of the Lightning Domain, it also understood gratitude. After meeting Long Chen, it had gained endless benefits. When they were first made back in the day, they were born to be servants to the human race's experts. That was a forced servitude. But this time, they were all willing to follow Long Chen Novaloon.com however. Long Chen didn't permit them to call him master. So in the end, the Dragon Emperor had an inspiration from the Dragon Blood Warriors, calling him boss. Sensing the endless power of divine lightning in the air, the Dragon Emperor knew that Long Chen had called them for more benefits. It seemed that every time that Long Chen called them, they profited. Having advanced to a Dragon Emperor, it had unprecedented power that it was willing to use for Long Chen. Damn. I forgot that you had this move left. Evil Moon sighed with relief. It had actually forgotten about this trump card. No wonder Long Chen had dared to fight so recklessly against Sovereign Yun Shang. As the energy of the lightning domain flooded into the martial heaven continent, the laws of the two worlds mixed. The dragons of the lightning domain were incredibly excited, like wolves seeing plump meat. However, without the dragon emperor's orders, they didn't dare to start absorbing this energy. 
They were waiting for the Dragon Emperor's orders. At this moment, the Dragon Emperor lowered its giant head below Long Chen's feet, raising him up. On top of a giant dragon, Long Chen looked toward the four sovereigns. Although he was covered in blood, it didn't tarnish his image of an unrivaled hero. It was as if he was a celestial being. He smiled at the sovereigns. Junior brother only has this little ability. I've been rude to big brother Yun Shang, and I can't do the same to my other big brothers and sister. Furthermore, I really can't bear to kill big sister Han Wei. So don't blame me for this little trick. Attack. Long Chen suddenly waved his hand. The dragon emperor let out a thunderous roar, and the lightning domain's dragons charged at the four sovereigns. Ha ha ha, little brother, you really are amazing. I was worried for nothing. Sovereign Han Wei laughed as she plucked at the void. Zither strings manifested before her. Countless lightning dragons were slashed apart by those zither strings, but they were lightning spirits, and after being destroyed, they were quickly reborn. Furthermore, the destruction and rebirth allowed them to absorb a great deal of the divine lightning energy in the air, causing them to grow stronger. The Dragon Kings also attacked, their claws raking through the air. That power was something that even made Midheaven merging experts pale. Boom. A Dragon King fought against Mo Li. With every swing of his sword, its body was shattered, but it would quickly reform. After seven times, its aura had clearly grown. On the eighth time, its body was sliced apart, but it didn't shatter. Its body reconnected and continued fighting. Meanwhile, Long Chen stood atop the Dragon Emperor's head. He retreated from the Heaven's Wrath state, as well as the Six Star Battle Armor. He focused on recovering as quickly as possible. He had paid an immense price to kill Sovereign Yun Shang, even in the Heaven's Wrath state. Although most of the energy had come from the spirits of life in this world, it had also exhausted close to 60% of Long Chen's max spiritual yuan and 80% of his spiritual strength. If it weren't for his powerful spiritual strength, he wouldn't have been able to control such a huge amount of power. Although the attack had succeeded, he wasn't too happy about it. Instead, it simply showed the difference between himself and a sovereign. Sovereign Yun Chang was the first generation sovereign and also the strongest sovereign in history. In this tribulation, a clone created by the Heavenly Deus had at most 80% of his original power. Furthermore, without a physical body, there were many techniques that he couldn't unleash. Moreover, some terrifying techniques couldn't be imitated by the Heavenly Tribulation. For example, Long Chen's own nine-star hegemon body art, the Heaven's Wrath, the ninth form of Split the Heavens, and even Evil Moon could not be replicated. That was why he was able to kill the clones of himself. Since that was the case, Long Chen couldn't help shaking his head. The difference was truly great. Long Chen could vaguely feel that the difference might not be as great as he felt. He had the utmost confidence in the nine-star hegemon body art. This was definitely a supremely terrifying cultivation technique. The pill sovereign's will had influenced him, preventing him from retreating forcing him to face Sovereign Yun Shang with his life on the line. However, Long Chen felt like he had vaguely grasped something. Could it be, that my six-star battle armor is incorrect? A flash of insight suddenly struck him. Why would the pill sovereigns will suddenly pop up after vanishing for so long? What did it mean? Retreating midway? Fighting to the death? Seeking opportunity while being surrounded by danger? Long Chen muttered to himself. A strange expression on his face. Just as he was trying to understand if the Pill Sovereign's will was hinting something to him, the Golden Dragon Emperor also joined into the fray. With every one of its attacks, the void collapsed. Only it was able to face the Sovereign's head on without being injured. The other Lightning Dragons were constantly being blown apart, but their numbers were endless, and they were rapidly reborn, growing stronger and stronger. Hence, the four sovereigns were drowning within the sea of lightning dragons. This was a battle of attrition, and Long Chen was borrowing the power of the lightning domain to get a breather. The sovereign's power is starting to drop. Suddenly, someone let out a delighted cry. After such a long time, there was a clear sign that the sovereign's power was dropping. That meant that the heavenly tribulation was running out of power. Since the heavenly tribulation was the source of the sovereigns, without it, the sovereigns would vanish and Long Chen would pass it. 
Just as everyone was happily surprised, divine light suddenly came from all four sovereigns at once. They vanished. Long Chen was still in thought when without warning, four sharp swords stabbed into his body. What? Chapter 2700 Ancestral Spirit Blood Offering Four Swords Stabbed Through Long Chen's Body, Turning Him Into a Hedgehog. Everyone's heart stopped beating. How could this be? Victory had clearly been in sight. Was it still a failure in the end? However, Sovereign Ching Shu slowly let go. With a slight smile to Long Chen, he faded away along with Sovereign Moli and Sovereign Zi Yan. As they vanished, they had gratified smiles. Sovereign Han Wei looked at Long Chen with a sad smile. Now do you understand? My good brother, goodbye. Wait, remember, don't listen to those four. Live your own life happily. You are more important to me than the world. Sovereign Han Wei touched Long Chen's cheek. She then kissed him on the forehead and dissipated into runes, returning to the world. For a moment, everyone could only stare in silent confusion. They had no idea what had happened. The sovereigns had vanished, but there were still four sharp swords stabbing Long Chen's body. Fresh blood dripped down them. Long Chen's blood dripped into the martial heaven sea ring, and everything was deathly silent. The very faint sound of the dripping blood had a strange cadence to it, just like the cadence of heaven and earth, the rhythm of all creation. Long Chen was like a statue standing in the void, as though he had been nailed to it. The sovereigns had vanished, but the swords continued to flicker. Boss Long Chen, the Dragon Emperor was filled with shame. Only now did it react. Long Chen raised his hand as if reacting to its call. His movement caused the Dragon Blood Warriors to erupt into cheers, while Meng Chi and the others wept tears of joy. Long Chen hadn't died. After that, the void shuddered, and the world grew dark once more. As the power of the Heavenly Tribulation faded, the haze of the Dark Era shrouded the world again. However, Long Chen wasn't paying attention to anything happening outside. His focus was entirely on his inner body. The swords from Ching Shu, Mo Li, Han Wei, and Zi Yang were actually a display of their life's greatest comprehension. Every single one of them had created their own cultivation techniques and skills themselves, and they hadn't transmitted those to the rest of the world. Due to their own specific comprehension, their self-created cultivation techniques were only suited to themselves. Every sovereign was an unmatched, unique existence. Hence, in order to unleash the greatest power, they created their own techniques. Their previous attacks had left scars in Long Chen's body and soul, almost like memories. As for these swords, they formed resonance with all the memories of those attacks. In that instant, Long Chen instantly comprehended all their techniques. Only now did Long Chen understand. The sovereigns had never been trying to kill him. They had been using their own power to display their individual paths to him. Of the five sovereigns, Yun Shang, Ching Shu, Mo Li, and Zi Yang were stone-hearted. They hadn't shown the slightest fluctuation over this. Only sovereign Han Wei had been unable to bear it. This comprehension of their martial paths was the final gift the sovereigns gave him. The heavenly tribulation had wanted to kill him, but the sovereigns had used the tribulation to help him. They were truly existences that stood above the heavenly deos. The sword slowly melted and were absorbed by Li Linger. This was the purest divine lightning energy of the tribulation, and this was also sent to him directly by the sovereigns. Just at this moment, a giant pillar of light descended from the sky, enveloping Long Chen. Endless divine runes floated within this beam of light the heavenly deos divine light. The runes for corroborating the Tao these runes were like proof of passing to disciples. This was the recognition of the heavenly deos, an official acknowledgement of reaching heaven merging. Mo Nian, Yun Tian, Bidang Rushuang, Nangong Zuayu, Zi Yan, and the others all entered this divine light, receiving this baptism. The pill fairy also entered with Wan Qing. This was the final step of the heavenly tribulation. Suddenly, the void split open, and one figure after another appeared. The nine-headed lion, the blood fiend devil lord, the aldevil heaven walker, the dragon woman, Yi Ming, Long Aotian, and the others also appeared within the divine light. Long Chen, face your death. Suddenly, the nine-headed lion attacked. His nine heads glowed at the same time. As a result, the air beneath Long Chen's feet glowed, and then wet-like runes appeared in the void around him. 
trapping him. Clearly, the nine-headed lion had been preparing this for a long time. He immediately attacked as soon as he appeared. Long Chen snorted and swung Evil Moon, unleashing a saber image. However, the web quivered but didn't break. Instead, giant figures began to appear on the web. Those were ancient lions, and a total of nine of them were emitting ancient auras. Ancestral spirit blood offering the nine-headed lion roared along with the nine ancient lions. Their mouths all opened, and blood-colored rays of light shot at Long Chen. Long Chen suddenly found that he couldn't move. This attack contained a bizarre energy. It seemed that it was filled with curse energy. Die. This is the nine-headed lion race's strongest divine ability. I will offer you as a sacrifice to our world god, and your karmic luck pearl will go to me. The nine-headed lion laughed crazily. He had been waiting a long time for this attack. This was practically an unbreakable, peerless killing art. However, in order to activate this technique, he had sacrificed nine of the nine-headed lion race's heroic spirits that stood guard over him. This was an immense prize, but the karmic luck pearl had to be his. Long Chen felt like all his secrets were exposed in front of this blood light. It was like he was a prisoner, and everything he owned was about to be plundered by his jailer. He couldn't hold anything back. This was truly a strange and terrifying sacrificial art. The nine-headed lion had actually turned him into an offering. The moment the light pierced into his soul, the divine gate star in his mind see lit up. However, it didn't manage to force it out. Instead, the two ended up deadlocked. After that, the light struck his divine gate. Long Chen was startled. There were signs of the divine gate star being suppressed, and this was the first time such a thing had ever occurred. Ha ha ha, give up, sneered the nine-headed lion. He poured all his power into this technique, wanting to end things before anyone else could interfere. At this moment, the light spread throughout Long Chen's body, invading every inch of it, even pervading through his bones, as he couldn't move nor resist. He was shocked and infuriated. The light then entered his dantian and stretched toward the primal chaos bead. Boom. The primal chaos bead quivered and unleashed a wave of divine light. As a result, the web binding Long Chen exploded, and those nine giant lions also turned to dust.